better. Yeah, yeah, it does. It, does. it really does. And I see gems here, too. Are we still live yeah. on? Yeah, we actually are. We're still live. Because I just wanted to say I fucking hate audience, and they're all on Chucks. So I just wanted to know if we were on air before I said that. Yes, we're on air. And Jim's uh, how's here it going, too. gentlemen? How's it hey, going? Hey, Medicare. Man? What's up, man? Uh, nice stream you got, Mister. I'm gonna stream on mobile. What all the right, fuck are you doing? All right, all right. <laughs> oh We're god, why, why does my stream keep dying? Now, I wonder. Jeez, minute. maybe it's wait a minute, my Jim. fucking iPhone. No, wrong. wrong. Let me tell you this. I've streamed my toilet paper. No, at dude, me. this is like the third <laughs> stream I've done with the mobile hotspot, and that's the first time I just completely cut out. Yeah, we're on location. We're on location. I'm on. That's yeah, what it, look, is. I mean, it can't be helped. I'm not. I'm not at the normal headquarters here. So he's visiting uh, his ancestral homelands. Yes. They, of Memphis. Of Memphis. It, it looks like I. I, mi I yeah. I, I missed out on the the stream. I was watching uh, fucking supercar videos and shit. I got like lost in that. Uh, did you guys talk about uh, the Elon Musk tweets that he's been throwing out? No, tonight? we haven't yet. Actually. No, we haven't. Uh, yeah. Did you see his uh, his selling feature for his cars for the Tesla three? No, I didn't. Okay, let me let me quote this for you because this is pretty fucking great. Uh, he had somebody uh, contact him and basically say, <laughs> I, I don't know if this is a joke or if this is actually true. Um, thank you and Tesla for the bioweapon defense mode. Our daughter's life depended on it. No more asthma attacks. And then he responds and says, cool, the Tesla S slash X have hospital operating room air quality when bioweapon defense mode is activated. So should protect against even a weaponized virus. Oh wow! In the fuck? <laughs> he, goes, he says more. Uh, filters Damn. out bacteria, uh, spores, pollen, particles of any kind, bacteria, and viruses. What does he know uh, that we don't know? Yeah, no he shit, umbrella. right? <laughs> Umbrellas. Where did the original tweet come? I know that on board is Tesla. Let me let me see if I can find out who uh, who the girl. It was like some some dad tweeting out a picture of his daughter. Uh, it came from Olaf Tengoff. I, I don't know who the fuck that is, but uh, yeah, he was very appreciative of the fucking bioweapon defense mode uh, that's apparently <laughs> built into all the fucking Tesla cars. Well, that's that's why they can't make enough of them. Their production schedule. They're putting in fucking doomsday shit in them. Yeah, it's like a Alex Jones selling point on your fucking car. I love it. <laughs> Alex Jones is an asshole for selling water filters. Elon Musk <laughs> is a genius for putting in anti-zombie defenses in his electric sports cars. Well, the question is, do refugees get a free car? Oh, that's a good question. I mean, well, you do get that tax rebate. So, I mean, maybe he's getting a little kickback from the government there. That $7,500 credit goes a long way. Start giving them out <laughs> to all the, the Somalis coming in. It's actually better for the Earth if we import a ton of refugees and give them all Teslas. <laughs> <laughs> otherwise, they'd How long be. Until we start? Yeah, they're, otherwise they'd be back home driving diesel and beheading each other, and everything for the planet. You know. Oh, oh, it's a, it's a, it's a, no, it, it, it's a health uh, thing for the general public because. The majority of the people coming over from like North Africa and the Middle East have all these weird fucked up diseases like TB and other shit. So if they're <laughs> stuck in a fucking clean room Tesla, they can't get us sick. If they're filtered yeah. off. <laughs> <laughs> all, the, all the Teslas for refugees have uh, the, the back doors of police cars on all four doors. <laughs> <laughs> get off the boat. We throw you in the window like a NASCAR and then you're in there for the rest of your life. Good luck. But at least it's very comfortable. And you've got a nice little LCD to keep you occupied as the oxygen runs out of your fucking quarantine car. It can be a Tesla of peas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now, let me ask you, Jim. I haven't been following uh, Elon the last couple of days because I've barely even like, had time to conduct these streams because I'm doing a lot of stuff in my hometowns and uh, things like that. Has he said anything about the uh, you know, the original you know, firestorm that happened with the... Uh, with the with the tweet, I'm trying to remember the original tweet. But... With with Biba, yeah. So yeah. he he said a couple of statements because he was upset about the press coverage he was getting, uh, and said journalists were shit. Essentially, yeah, is yeah, the, yeah, yeah. A and, summary and who of that. do you think runs these these corporations? And well, that that's no, that's the I really think that's the focal point. Like that's the thing that fucking tilted them. 
Yeah. Because when he said, who do you think runs the media? Every fucking blue check mark <laughs> on Twitter showed up in his fucking thread. <laughs> right? Yeah. And they're all just daring him. Say it, Elon. Please fucking say it. I dare you. <laughs> say, say it to the Jews, Elon. Fucking say it. <laughs> I wish he did. I really wish uh, he did. Say it. Yeah. I really <laughs> he, he didn't, though. You know, uh, he's, he, he went and uh, fucked his emo girlfriend. He didn't give a shit. <laughs> So they they all got upset. Look up his name and just you know under the news heading and shit, you'll see like a fucking hundred articles. Elon Musk is sexist, supremacist, uh, disconnected. Oh, you know, like it's a fucking feeding frenzy right now. They're going after him, and they hate the idea that he's going to make a site to fuck with them. I mean, the guy's net worth is what like seven billion dollars. Yeah. Like he could do a lot, a lot of fucking damage if he wanted to do some fucking damage to the media. Uh, I mean, you're talking about a guy that runs a fucking rocket company electric cars and you know was in paypal so done with i i really want to see this escalate because he will stomp them into the dirt yeah I mean, he's legit he legit has fuck you money he really does, yeah. on, on like the right side of his bipolar like he, <laughs> right <laughs> we just gotta like start kicking our enemies in front of elon and like hey man are you are you manic or are you depressive oh you're manic ah here's journalism go fucking tear <laughs> well yeah they they really went after it Especially that Biba, uh, who, I, I, she writes for like five different outlets, but when she, you know, he basically told her to go fuck herself, and she's like, I'm going to write an article about how sexist you are. I made fun of that, but she still wrote the fucking article, and then her her uh, managing editor or whatever at the, the outlet, the Daily Beast or whatever it was, yeah. was like, oh, oh, she's so brave for doing this. <laughs> she's so fucking brave for writing an article about other people on Twitter and then blaming him for it. Like, get, get fucked, Biba. It was a She's really been... long article too. I, I read about half of it, and then I was finally, I could I couldn't go any further. Wow, you got, you got that far? Shit, yeah. I tuned that <laughs> out. Like, no, she went, she went on and on and on, but she's been stalking him for a while. She, so hates, she, she fucking hates it. That's why she got rid of her time. She fucking hates the guy, and she won't shut the fuck up about him. Uh, what is it? Richard Lewis like had a catalog of screen yeah, captures of all the yeah. shit. She has talked for like a year about the guy. She just won't let it go. She really dislikes him. Yeah. I don't know. It, it, it's a little weird that they would let her write an article on him after, you know, her history with him. And oh, are you, are you kidding me, Zidane? Did you see the fucking uh, little subheader of the article actually said payback? <laughs> oh, <laughs> The bitch actually wrote <laughs> payback on the fucking title of the article. You must have missed it because, dude, that article was fucking long and she went in depth, in depth on this, on Elon Musk. Oh. Uh, so has, has it? Yeah, and I, I probably shouldn't distract it with the Elon stuff. But uh-huh. Has it been a, a celebratory stream, knowing that Maddox <laughs> fucked up his lawsuit and he's the ass <laughs> of all the jokes? It, it right? mostly has been, yeah. and it's been a yeah. little very too, fucking. Yeah. It's been a celebratory like three fucking weeks, man. The last, <laughs> thing I, last thing I remember is doing a bunch of drops of acid in the middle of the Middle East, in the middle of fucking Israel, and all of a sudden, all my problems are over. And I, I think I fucking died and had a heart attack, and I'm just I'm having a long hallucination of a reality where I can endlessly shit on Maddox, <laughs> girlfriend Jessica Irene Blom, and his drunk fuck, uh, multiple DUI having interlock device ass lawyer for the rest of my life with absolutely no repercussions. If you sue me in California, you say in California, which you said is done in the first place, he's gonna get he's gonna get put in the ground or he's gonna get slapped back to Utah. Um, isn't there like a 90% chance that Asterios is going for a countersuit because he like got him fired and shit? That's up to Asterios. Wow. Let me, let me, gentlemen, be, it, it's roboting, so l- let me do something. have to find a dumber lawyer than he has in California. Like, is, there's, that, is that fucking possible? Uh, it's it's going to be tough. This, the guy, I think the guy who took his case in New York makes a living as a, a predatory like taking advantage of the dumbest, most desperate, delusional people and filing lawsuits uh, that are like catering to their uh, uh, perverted sense of justice. All right, like, all right. wait one second, wait one second. Okay, right. we're, we're back, we're back, we're back. I just wanted to make sure. I, I well, yeah, like- I, I asked that because didn't didn't Maddox's lawyer uh, to my ears. Uh, didn't didn't he try to go after? Uh, is it Ricotta Law on YouTube for reading yeah. cases and laughing at him? He filed Landau filed an ethics violation complaint against uh, this guy Nick Ricada who Ricada there we go yeah 
who all he does is talk like he goes through oh you are oh, recording you. well that's good and definitely i, I will <laughs> so he goes through every he'll read legal documents he'll read he re uh made it so that you know if would if somebody gave him money through a super chat and he answered the question that was legal advice so he's trying to yeah. nail him on the ethics committee from what i understand was like are you fucking retarded that's not that's not how that's not uh attorney client interaction at all yeah it turns out that like everybody kind of understands uh what the internet is like shockingly uh, a 70 year old judge in new york says uh you should say about me on the internet fuck you the oh that judge that judge in that case was fucking amazing reading the fucking uh, transcripts and shit that was Simply fucking amazing. Where he's he's like, I'm gonna have you arrested, and <laughs> put in fucking cuffs <laughs> in prison today, and then just silence. Uh, oh, that's good. Yeah, I want to I want to do like a reenactment of that thing and get some I don't know some porn stars and maybe a maybe a talking dog like find a dog and put some peanut butter in its mouth and do an actual reenactment of the court case. So Dan, can you? Can you test this and see if we're back on the air? Uh, yeah. Uh, <sighs> so you got some uh, toilet paper thrown at your head, did you? <laughs> yeah. It doesn't seem. That's like hilarious <laughs> that that's when the stream actually cut. Right yeah, it doesn't seem like it is. Fucking toilet paper. Oh god. I can't tell on mine. Probably not a good I mean, you uh do you want me to I can probably broadcast this on your whatever. I mean yeah. I could just send you the stream key. Yeah, yeah. I could do it too. Yeah. Same thing. All right, I'll just send you this. I'm not gonna have any video, but well, I guess I could. I'm also a little drunk, so that's probably not helping matters. Uh, <laughs> You need to be a lot Probably drunk. Probably not. Problem. <laughs> All right. Uh, and... All right. I'll send you the stream key. Uh, can you do it over Google or? Yeah. I'll, uh... How about this? I'll just. Play. All right. <laughs> That's gonna work out well, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure that's going to go great. I'm totally not going to take that stream key and start playing gay porn or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're not live. Nobody can see what we're doing right now, right? Well, yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're putting it's <laughs> probably, it's probably, it's probably, it's probably a bad idea to do it through. Uh, well, it's too late now. So, um, there it is. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. What happens. All right, let me just tweet that out. <laughs> uh. Oh, shit. Uh. Matter of fact, like, we're popping in and out, so it, it, it's possible. To... I don't think they can see the chat. I don't think, yeah, they I, don't, can see it. I don't think it's visible. No, they can't see the chat, no. Not my fault. By the way, some... So I guess we'll just okay. try. It. Well, here we are. We're we're live on the air right now. Allegedly. Allegedly. I, I don't know. Allegedly, yes. Oh yeah, we are. Oh, we are. Look yeah. at that. There you go. All okay. right. I we Jerry rigged it real quick on the on mine. So. Jerry rigged it. Yes. <laughs> wink, wink. Yes. Yeah. The video and audio are coming in through or through just fine. So. Fantastic. Good. Good. Glad to hear All it. All right. Thank God. I'll just. All right. And and by the way, Dick, you said you were recording all this, right? Um, I started recording the audio when things went bad, so I guess okay. I have us fucking around with keys and blaming each other for... <laughs> Good. Good, because um, I, would, I would like the... I would like the... that cut. We'll see. <laughs> Damn, your yeah. resolution is like 9,000 a day. Uh, it's a... It's a uh, 1440p monitor. It's 27. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah, so it's bigger. Alright. Have you guys English. seen that thing today about the the live streamer, like the the Arab guy? Yeah, Arab Andy. Yeah. That yeah. was uh, fucking that's amazing. the funniest shit I've seen in a long, long time. Yeah, he didn't. He just he casually strolled out of there after people were running for their life down the fucking hallway. <laughs> <laughs> he, didn't give, he didn't give a single shit. And then, did you see the uh, extended cut of when the cops arrest him? Because oh yeah, yeah. 
TTS kept going through, so they're playing like uh, ISIS chants and like Allah Akbar and the cops theme Fuck song. Fuck the police! <laughs> yeah, it's fucking amazing. Should we explain it for people who haven't heard of it yet? Or well, we I mean, we played it earlier on, on our oh, okay. last iteration of, of the stream. There, yeah. There's no way that uh, this is not going to get Fallout. Like, I, I think this was this might be what actually ends up making Streamlabs uh, adjust some policies when it comes to Texas. Now, where was he at exactly? That's what like I... University I, I, of... Yeah, it's some university, wherever the fuck they were. Okay. I can put. I went into his Discord and and this is all hearsay because it's just random people. But some guy said he's a lawyer and that he's looking at a, a minimum of one month in prison, no matter what, for this shit. Because <laughs> well, they, they consider calling it a bomb threat. Yeah, they yeah. had the. They had. I mean, if you listen to the very end of the clip, you can hear or you can fucking hear helicopters circling above. <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah, yeah. So they had the fire department show up, the fucking police department show up. Somebody said SWAT showed up. There are fucking helicopters in the sky. So they took it really seriously when all those scared white college kids saw the uh, the Arab guy and then heard a C4 countdown in the fucking <laughs> library. It is a little bit like, um, like, I'll defend any joke ever as long as it's a joke, but then you think, well, what was this joke? Uh, I wanted to make people afraid that they would be killed in a bomb. Like, yeah, that's a bomb threat. <laughs> but, but waka, waka. Is, it, it, it wasn't his joke, wasn't it? Some random guy playing it through his speaker because they I paid mean, to do it. Yeah, that's uh, that's not going to hold up. <laughs> Actually, I, I'm really curious what's going to happen. Like, if this goes to court for terroristic threats or whatever they try to, you know, put it under, is he in trouble or is the dude that donated the money to make the threat go through in trouble? Yeah, I think too... it's fucked up if he gets in trouble because he didn't play that on purpose. At least from my point of view, like I. I don't think he did anything wrong. I think he's a fucking retard, but I don't see why he should be charged with terrorism for this shit. By the way, some uh, chat saying we should play it again. So, Dan, do you have the clip? It's only like a I minute. I do. Long. I already have it here. All right. Why don't you play it? Let me just say. Let's check it up. Oh, it doesn't look that good. Oh, your chat's talking shit to you, Ralph. Oh, wow. Shock oh, of a big surprise. They're talking a little bit of shit there. C4 has been deserved. Although I will say, in my own defense, we've been streaming with the, with the mobile hotspot for you know two or three days. <laughs> Only takes one day for it to shit the bed. <laughs> yeah, and, uh, and it just happened to be like at the key moment, and it just completely. So can the chat hear this? Can't hear it? Yeah, that's they, they can hear it. I mean, I might be immature to think that the prank was funny, but, uh, I mean, I can't help but laugh watching those people run for their lives. It wasn't really a prank up. either. No, that's hilarious, man. That's hilarious. Oh, I guarantee you somebody's gonna, like, I, I've been watching this, uh, this in real life live streaming shit ever since, uh, I started watching a little bit of Ice Poseidon, and you know it's gonna end in somebody getting shot eventually. Like, either by the police or some dude on the fucking street. Like, something's gonna play. I kept thinking, when the cops were approaching him, right? And they have their guns drawn, and they're being fucking serious with them. If somebody put a super chat through or a, a text, oh god, that started screaming <laughs> Allah Akbar, you know what I mean? <laughs> what like I they would have unloaded clips in the motherfucker, right? Dude, so, the cop had a lot of discipline, though, didn't he? Like, I mean, I, well, I he's in like... he's in the the most PC liberal area uh, that you could possibly Ooh. fucking be in. He's like, oh, you know, gently get on the ground. Would you like a pillow? Like, what kind no, of? No, it was that? like that. Like, I could only imagine if, if some areas that do. New super shot. chat from ISIS master hacker. He has a gun <laughs> and a bomb. <laughs> well, I think as soon as you tell a cop I'm filming, they sort of have no choice but to do their job correctly. Unless you shoot him and take the phone, but I guess he didn't know he was live. What, what do you think the cop was thinking? Like, he's probably going through procedure and he's like. They never covered if the ISIS bomber has a fucking live stream. Like, <laughs> yeah. such a weird thing to bring up. Like, I'm streaming right now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the cop is thinking like, ah, this is being recorded. Yeah, I think America is going to uh, be on my side. Yeah, I think no, I got the, this one. <laughs> yeah. No, but the cop even well, says, oh, if you want to keep recording, go ahead. Like, like Yeah. He's First of all, all that. your fans are going to think it's funny if I kick the shit out of you. And everybody <laughs> who doesn't like you is just going to be on my side for being a fascist. So let's go. Record away. Oh, yeah. they uh, Well, they would have loved it. Yeah, they would have started donating money saying kick them harder. You know, <laughs> like they would have yeah. been down for that shit. Chat said, did you get a new stream key? Yes, I did. 
I guess on the bright trying. side, once he gets out of prison, he'll have like eighteen dollars in super chats. Oh, big money! It's gonna really, uh, you know, come in handy when he buys that preparation age for all the rape he got subjected oh. to in the fucking lockup. Yeah, he's gonna be. Yeah, it's dumb, but that's what they put themselves through now. Like, people are gonna do that. You go into somewhere and well, yeah, if you add it up, and... I think he made like a hundred bucks, like maybe like a hundred, two hundred bucks. So he's gonna go really? to jail. He's gonna go to jail for like a month for two hundred dollars. And that's it? I thought he would have made more than that. Like, No, they were coming in really slow. Like, you know, oh, cause, wow. like, I think it's like a 4 or $5 minimum to do, like, uh, voice yeah, chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and there weren't a lot of them. I mean, there were when they started arresting him and they are playing NWA, <laughs> fuck the police. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, they yeah did. once the cops had the phone, it was nonstop for, like, 15 minutes. Yeah, yeah, that's when the real money started kicking in. Yeah, he'll be excited when he sees that. Yeah, totally pay off his lawyer fees. Now, do you guys think this is going to come back on Ice Poseidon because this guy's kind of, you know, tangentially related to him and the whole streaming scene? Do you think he's going to have a, a whole slew of fucking articles coming out again about how terrible he is? Because they've already hit him now for associating with Baked Alaska. Yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't do doubt it, but let me ask since you brought up Ice Poseidon, what did you think about him and Tariq Nasheed? Uh, I, I Okay, I, I'm going to be totally honest with you. My opinion of Tariq Nasheed changed when I saw him with Jared Taylor. When he told that dude that black dicks are weapons of mass destruction, <laughs> I was like, there's no way this guy isn't a fucking master class troll. So yeah. he, he talks all this shit to Ice Poseidon. And then Ice Poseidon and his manager, Steve Jobs, say, uh, we're going to sue you. And he, he, Tariq basically said, fuck your lawyer. And then they're like, okay, we're not going to sue you. Debate me. And then Tariq's like, pay me and I'll debate you. Fuck you. So he gets to talk all this shit, tell people their lawyers can go fuck themselves, and then demand you pay him money so he can show up in person and talk shit to you. Like, <laughs> how can you it not find that level, enduring? It was pimp-level shit. Like, it, it honestly was. Yeah, I, I'm completely fucking convinced at this point that Tariq Nasheed is just trolling the fuck out of anybody that he can. It's all to make as much money as he can, uh, and he knows how to bait people. Like, that's his gimmick, uh, is going after people and doing the shit. I, don't, I, I think that guy probably laughs his ass off at night while he counts his fucking money. <laughs> And the chat is saying that Ice Poseidon just got swatted like an hour ago. Yeah, I saw that, but I don't know. The a lot of people yeah. are saying it. Yeah, oh, lots, did, people, did he get lots of people say a lot of stuff. I don't know. We'll have to find out. Let's look it up. I'll look it up. I, I will say this. The, what Tariq said was was basically, you know, have your lawyer call my lawyer is is what you should say when somebody threatens to sue you. Okay. That's you know, not what Tariq – I know you're, you're forgetting the best line because – after he said that, have your lawyer call my lawyer, Steve Jobs is like, who's or, who's your lawyer? And then Tariq <laughs> said, this is my lawyer, and linked to a video of a guy saying, D's nuts. <laughs> 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 uh, got, him. got him! Yeah, that's the guy. It was really funny. Alright, so you guys were having a conversation. Was it about Maddox? I don't even remember now, because I was trying yeah, to... Yeah, well, we were talking about different things, like you're, you're getting toilet paper thrown at your yes, head. Yes, yes, yes. Now, I, I would have thought you would have learned from Andy <laughs> about having discussions with significant <laughs> others on screen. <laughs> because Sinead rides his ass like a fucking bicycle every time she comes on the fucking street. She Clock gives you yeah. hell. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, she destroys him every time she's on air. It's really oh, funny. Oh, and she, she doesn't fuck around. She calls him like a little bitch and yeah. talks about it. Uh, yeah, yeah, she, what did she call him that really pissed? Oh, Average Andy when she was talking about his dick. <laughs> like, no, that's, no. That's, <laughs> that is some brutal fucking when, shit, man. When she called him lazy, he lost it. Yeah, and, and the crazy thing is um, he keeps bringing her back on. <laughs> 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 she keeps fucking with him. Like, that's, I think she's enjoying it, to be honest. So careful where you tread there, Ralph. I think yeah. he is too, to some extent. Me or Andy? Andy, I, th I think he he likes the content it creates when he brings her onto like shit all over him. Well, it's funny. Uh, I will say it just happened to be serendipitous. Uh, my wife throwing the toilet paper at me. Oh, right oh uh, somebody screen. somebody threw a link, uh, one of your mods, top keck in the chat. It's okay, near yeah. the bottom. Uh, it says ice getting swatted. It's the you last can... portion. Okay. He can post oh, the yes. entire link. I don't know why he didn't do that. Yeah, yeah, you're a mod, so you can just post the entire yeah, link. Yeah, post the entire link. I'll click it. Oh, Zidane. Zidane's actually the master of ceremonies now. Uh, so, I can't play it. A little secret. Let me see if I can pull it up. Uh, uh, oh, I guess I could. Oh, yeah, there he goes. He threw the full link up. Fantastic. Okay, good. All right, good. Yeah, see, so you guys have this... Uh, like, uh, 
you have all these technical setups for your fucking streams, and then, like, every time I try to do one, it's like this shit show of just showing my fucking desktop and then trying to pull people <laughs> through, through fucking Skype. Like, have you ever tried to do a call-in show with Skype? It's the most painful. It doesn't. Yeah. Terrible. And the, really sound, the sound of Skype ringing, like, becomes your nightmare. Yeah, it does. Uh, yeah. Oh, my God. Mother. It doesn't work. I know you hate on Discord, and I don't blame you because it's complete autism, but, like, uh, it's just way easier to do a call-in show on that rather than, than on Skype. And, I mean, you could – I mean, what I could do is actually shell out for a phone number and set well, up. Well, that, that's shit. what I was thinking of do, uh, doing yeah. with Skype. Like, you, you can set up your own phone number with it and then have yeah. people call in rather than call them. So, yeah. I don't know. I remember I went on Chris Cantwell's podcast before he got thrown in jail, <laughs> uh, and uh, – he he would do Skype call-ins, but like he'd give them three seconds. So he'd call them up and be like, one, two, three, fuck you, and then he'd hang up on them. Uh, it, like it, that doesn't work either. Like there's no way of making it work because there's a stream delay. So if you pull somebody in, they're always like five fucking minutes behind. They don't know they got yanked in. So it's just this awkward fucking silence. It permeates, and you don't know what the fuck to say. And then if you don't have somebody running it, and you have to run it and run the stream, I don't know. It's just it's really complicated. I guess just Discord's. For... Yeah, we just drag people in from Discord. It's really easy. Yeah, it's just easy. It's like okay, drag in. And if they're not there, throw them back out. You know, it's just it's just. Easier. All right, is it any gonna play this? Yeah, yeah, guys are talking. Sorry. Go ahead. All right, I'm playing right now. Isn't it true that you can whitelist yourself to not get swatted in this shit? Yeah, you should be able to, but I guess the police just don't like them. I mean, if you contact the police, yeah. You think you would do that if you did this for a living? You think his manager would do that? Like, he's paying this guy 20%. You think Scuff Steve Jobs would call ahead and be like, Hey, this guy gets swatted all the fucking time. Please don't flashbang us. I mean, some people were threatening to swat me, so I just called the police. And was like, yeah, let's go this way. Let's go. Come on. Come people on. might call you and say, no, they still have to come out, though, so it's not going to be like they don't come out. They might but they're not going to come out with fucking guns yeah, drawn. Yeah, they might like, come out and shoot your dog. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Let's go over yeah, let's, uh... let's just Fuck that. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah, look at them. Yeah, they're, they're, they're rolling up with lights and everything. I don't play with these fucking so what's the appeal cars? of this uh, walking around outside live streaming thing? Is there like a special thing to it? I don't know. Uh, I guess this when people get you know oh, arrested. Oh no! I'll tell you the appeal of it. Uh, he pulls in like thirty thousand fucking viewers and makes an absurd amount of money doing this. Like I, if I was making eight to ten grand a day doing this dumb shit, I'd, I'd do it. Yeah, but why do people watch it? It's just a guy walking down the street, right? Uh, it's for the text to speech thing. They, they're all waiting for the moment, like the Arab Andy thing. You know what I mean? Like they're waiting for that awkward situation where you get fucking arrested. <laughs> I, I mean, say what well, you want to scream every day when, and someone else takes the fall for it. I like how they're walking away from the scene, too. Bjorn, let's go. Jeez. I mean, why not? Bro, they got like fucking I mean, I'd be running. Let's go. It's easy to hate on it, and it's not my, oh, not my up, cup of tea either. But like, <laughs> like Jim said, like, you're making Oh, wait, no, that. somebody's saying Ice doesn't have TTS. No, that can't be so true. He's, he invented it, remember? Kareem told me. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> We're no, we're, where are we? We're gonna uh, get well, I see the appeal of making the money. I just, I wasn't sure why people would watch it, but if, if it's just yeah. like to prank the live streamer, then that's pretty fun. In a American dude, private home. Yeah, and, it, and it's also like uh, yes. testing people around them to see like how far, what you can get away with saying before they'll actually react <laughs> without having to be there. Do you understand what's going on? That's why I like it anyway. I'm trying to fucking help you here. Shut the this fuck up. This dumb thought. <laughs> just shut up. Okay, well, why are we going you. this way? What are we doing? It's kind of hard to swat somebody just on a public street because the cops don't say, know who they're looking Is that really a swat if they're just yeah, walking yeah. down the street? I think they just, hit their house. No, like, they're, they're at the gas station. They call the cops on them in the gas station. There are like, what, four or five police uh, cars there? And they yeah, walk, they just walk away. away. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what he did. Yeah. Yeah, it's super easy. All right, and then he's got this look. fucking loud thought that keeps screaming like an idiot. Why don't caught? the cops pull up the live stream and find out where they're going? <laughs> Yo, can you call Brett? <laughs> phone's dead. Yeah, you wonder why they don't just fucking do that. Wait, what is he recording on? He said his phone's dead. Well, he's got okay. two phones. He's got one to record on, and he's got the other one to uh, actually do the stream. Yeah, Savages in my town in your chat said they swat or initially swatted the restaurant they were eating at. Oh. I, I guess that's how this started. I, I don't know. I haven't been keeping up tonight, aside from the uh, Arab Andy thing. No, I'm talking to him. Give me the phone. Just, uh, 
Cassandra admits to coke and, and scuff Steve Jobs to meth. What? What? It takes a million years for my shit to pop no, up, so maybe I'll see this before. Two, 2020. I'm just wandering around. I really do think... I really do think all this shit's gonna end with, like, this huge fucking Wall Street Journal, Washington Post you know, article about Ice Warrior. Poseidon and the dangers of... of YouTube live streaming. No, no somebody got arrested. Oh, okay. you're well, in the, you're the, the Air of Andy that. one, okay, they kept sending in the, the audio bite of Keemstar yelling the N-word, so maybe that. we'll get that <laughs> spread around a little bit more, too. I don't know, I don't, I don't, my phone's dead, I don't know, I'm wearing some ghetto ass I think it was, uh, set to the, the up. Thomas the Trank Engine theme song. Some, I don't know, I'm not going <laughs> <laughs> Here, yo, Amazing. share your location with okay, I'm sharing location right now. All I know is at the end of the, uh, the Arab Andy thing, they were playing the cops theme, and I was fucking dying. <laughs> <laughs> I was <laughs> like, pretty good. They're playing the ISIS song <laughs> and fucking <laughs> cops. Yeah, there's a great shot of the cop pulling the phone out of the bag, and it's just like, the cop doesn't even know what's going on, and he's looking at the phone like a retard while the cop's theme song is playing. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. Both of you just shut the fuck up. There's like, there's no other form of media w where you're gonna get that, where Dude, you'll have a cop who arrested a guy, and you can pay money to make something matter. play out loud for the cop. Matter, it's like a once in a lifetime <laughs> thing. Get out of here, dude. How many viewers do I have? Bjorn, stop. How many viewers do I have? Do they get away or do the cops find these guys? I think they I think they got away. I, I don't know. How much how much longer is the clip? Uh it's a couple of minutes. It's That's not much two minutes. Kind of a minute. Yeah, it's nothing. Like like sitting and arrested or beaten. Like charge. just just don't skip ahead, skip <laughs> yeah. ahead. Yeah, I want him to get beaten. Well, at least he yeah, did the I mean, smart thing. I mean, Arab Andy stuck around that fucking university for like 10 or 20 minutes after that happened, and I think that's how the cops caught up to him. Yeah. All right. Well, nothing happened. They walked yeah, away. Yeah, that was retarded. Did the cop literally just look for an Arab guy with a phone? Well, yeah, it's easy to catch these guys. The description is probably just look for the asshole with a selfie stick. Well, so like, it sounds like a wild bitch to keep screaming. It sounds like they called the cops for, like, a bomb threat, and then they just, like, started yelling at the one guy with a beard. Oh, no, uh, for, somebody said there was a witness that pointed him oh. out or something like that. Oh. Makes I think sense. it's funnier if they just pulled over the Arab guy. I mean, there was a bunch of witnesses. He went into that room, and everybody looked at him when I started playing. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, what about uh, Maddox, Jim? I I forgot the conversation you guys were having earlier when when we thought I, it, it's the same conversation. At least uh, it's the same shit I've been saying for the last two or three months. Like it, it's just it's so fucking sad and pathetic that he would have to file a lawsuit of that fucking size and scope uh, to go to court because he's upset. Uh, people are calling him a cuck after he did a fucking video where he told people, "Hey, being a cuck is cool." <laughs> yeah. Are you planning on doing a follow-up video to talk about the outcome of the lawsuit? Yes, when he finally has a fucking nervous breakdown after his next attempt in California, I guess, blows up in his dumb fucking face. Yeah, I'm absolutely going to do a follow-up and laugh at him. Um, his lawyer is known for suing his previous clients to get money out of them. Like, if... Um... <clears throat> Oh, that would be fantastic. Oh, that would be the, uh, yeah. the fucking icing on the cake, wouldn't it? Well, because the lawyers got sanctions against him, like uh, Weber Shandwick, the giant PR company, um, even Asterios has filed sanction to, sanctions against the lawyer for attorney's fees and uh, disbarment and whatever, like whatever the court wants. Uh, the law his Maddox's lawyer has a history of suing previous clients for not paying their bills, like. He's got he's got this he's got a bit he's got his business uh, set up perfectly where he sells delusional people um, custom bespoke lawsuits to suit their to suit their fantasies of what justice is and then when they fail he sues them for how much he imagines that they owe him. Oh, that's that's of course of course he does. What a great lawyer! I, I was going to ask you um, this lawsuit where was it filed? What state was it in? New York, where nobody lives. Maddox yeah, that, that, that's that's the thing. Isn't his Patreon going to get fucked? Because I thought Patreon had a user agreement that states if you want to dispute them or take them to court, it has to be in California. I mean, I mean it's a two hundred dollar Patreon. Yeah, his two hundred and forty dollar Patreon. Like, uh, I don't think. I mean, Patreon. They didn't they hire like big fuck you in the ass lawyers for this. I, I don't think they're. Yeah, I think they'd be petty enough to want a little blood for this. 
I don't think they hired externally, but I'm trying to get I'm trying to get the court tra- transcripts for the Patreon case, which was the day before ours. Um, Patreon has in their user agreement that you have to do mediation in California, and mediation is like half law, half business. So if you if you're a big company and you hire the mediators, they kind of want to make you happy, uh, and the mediators have like the ability to say you you idiot. The guy that's guilty, you're paying for all this. Uh, so they could easily do that. I just want to see it happen because it's another revenue source. Like, <laughs> I want to see it be the most disastrous fucking outcome that can possibly happen because at this point, I can't imagine he's sitting on like a big nest egg. Oh, he's got to be fucking in poverty now, right, Dick? How, how is he even paying for this shit? Maddox has a, has a federal tax lien against him. I didn't uncover that. Some, a dickhead uncovered that he has like 40 grand and. Uh, back taxes, probably from the 200000 he made on his last successful book, that stupid um, Better Than Your Kids book uh, that sold abysmally. He got 200000 on that. He probably didn't pay his taxes because he's an idiot, and he owes like $40,000 to the IRS. I, he has no money other than that. And his website cost, what, $40,000? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know, how the, I don't know how the motherfucker makes any money. Uh, as far as I know, the only money he's ever made was with me and the biggest problem in the universe, and that, that had had to have dried up long ago. How does his website cost 40k? Because he's, he's retarded. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, holy shit, that you said that. I was like, the fuck? Does he pay somebody in solid gold to manage <laughs> yeah. his website for him? Oh, yeah. He wanted, like, an app and an interactive voting algorithm that could... Uh, he wanted, like... Uh, he wanted like Super Bowl style interactivity on his website because he's a big fucking superstar. And why would he settle for anything less? Has he heard of strawpool.com? Yeah. 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 <laughs> he doesn't use any wants- tools for the proletariat. That's that. <laughs> he wants a freaking Super Bowl style website mm-hmm. with a budget of like Pop Warner football. Come on. Yeah. It's insanity. You gotta budget yourself right. He doesn't make enough money to do stuff like that. He's not big time. I don't know. The fallout's gonna be... I hope the fallout is as um, devastating as it should be. Well, maybe he's paying his lawyer in Mad Bucks. <laughs> 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 no, I, I've really enjoyed this. I love internet lawsuits because they rarely ever work out for the person that fucking files them. Yeah. Uh, so watching this kind of blow up in his face has been really great. What was going... Let me ask you... Uh, Jim, what what could have been going through his mind when he actually decided to commit to this? And I said this earlier. I said this is off brand. This oh, I'll tell you. Just... My my personal guess on this is it's petty fucking jealousy. Uh, he I think after the split, he got fucking angry. Uh, the dick is making a lot of money and has a big audience, and he doesn't. And I think he wanted to take any fucking swipe he could take, and he thought this was his end. He was gonna nail your ass to the wall with this. Yeah. And uh, he's a fucking idiot that hired a dumb fucking lawyer. And it blew up his stupid fucking face. It's that's just, that's my take on it. Well, I, and I think that's probably accurate. But I just like I just, what was he thinking? Like, just this is why you don't hire a Simpsons character as your lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> even if you thought, of course, his case got dismissed and there was no merit. But even if you thought you had the case, you were, you would sit here and say, like, what? This it's got to be mental illness because he fucking yeah. sued Patreon and Weber Shandwick. But there's, there's no, no way point. the same okay. man would think he would you win. Got to, you got to remember, Maddox's mother, at least his mother, is a degenerate gambling addict. Like, big time blowing his entire college savings on gambling. And if you're a gambling addict, the second you put one quarter in the machine, you're in, you're in for a penny, you're in for a fucking pound. As, like, as soon as you blow, as soon as you blow a dollar in, you're in for the rest of your fucking life. As soon as he, as soon as Maddox blew up the biggest problem, he was in, like, he was in until I got fucked. Like, until he got money out of me in some way. So, like, all of, all of this is a slot machine. This is, this entire thing. Uh, the restraining order that his stupid cunt girlfriend got, the loss, the lo- the lawsuit that cost him his entire career. Like he'll he'll never live this down. The entire the entire internet could be wiped out. There's still gonna be some kind of like 
stone disc somewhere that <laughs> alien plan they're going to resurrect it and it has it has uh, it has history of Maddox's lawsuit all of this all of this is just i see as just a junkie at a fucking slot machine pulling and pulling and pulling and hoping hoping that hoping that eventually it's going to say uh uh, Dick Masterson loses, and it's never gonna fucking say that. Cause the house Dick always fucking wins, man. That's a fucking point. Yeah, he hates you so much. He has become the embodiment of the sunk cost fallacy. Yeah, yeah. Well, what I find amazing is I haven't seen like I, I I've been following this since it kind of started. I I really, honest God, haven't seen any website or any forum or image board or really anywhere uh, that's taken his side, which is kind of remarkable. Like everybody. <laughs> Just shit talks him all the time now. Have you been to TimPool.com? Yeah, it's only like chinless fucks like Mundane Matt and noodly armed losers like Chris Raygon and his fat cunt girlfriend. Like the only people that take his side are e celebrities that have this weird nostalgic. Like, I think they, I think they, um, they use him as like a human shield. Like, they're like, well, no, he can't be wrong because I like him. Yeah, it's and always people that have met him, and they always say, oh, yeah, I met him. He's a great guy. He has to be right. He's a great guy. I met him at a con. Yeah, it's always these fucking losers that go to cons. Like, oh, the VidCon shit? Yeah, yeah, oh, they've become fast yeah. friends at VidCon, yeah. Like, it's people who are afraid. Like, Sargon goes on his show. I mean, I think Sargon is kind of a fucking... Like, I have no desire to talk to that guy. Um, I get that he's famous or whatever, but he seems like kind of a fucking know-it-all and a yeah, prick. We, yeah, we've been trying to get him on Sargon? Here. Yeah, I yeah. thought Sargon was in this. In this <laughs> I, like, I, like, <laughs> I like how Ralph perked up at that. Are you talking about yeah, Sargon? Got <laughs> yeah, we've been, we've been trying to get Sargon on here uh, for a little while. By the while, way, but... I, I don't know if I... Oh, and I forgot to respond to this, but, uh, you know, one of his uh, liberalist uh, lackeys, is that rude to say, messaged me and said, you know, maybe, you know, it might be a chance Sargon would come on your show, but... Uh, Maybe just you and him talking, and uh, oh, this, this again, he, he, he did this shit with the uh, with uh, talk on the morning yeah. Tuesday. Like yeah. he had yeah. fifteen different rules. Like no other guest. You can't ask me this. You've got to talk about this. Oh, like, I, I, it's so weird. I, I've been yeah. on a ton of fucking streams. I've never said we can't talk about this. You need to do this. You can't have. It's not my fucking show. Yeah, I no, mean, you're going on. I'm as a kind guest. of gay in certain ways. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there he is. I mean, it, it's, it was weird flat. when Michael Jackson did it on The Simpsons. Like, it was weird when he had demands at all. But these, like, these these e-celebrities are so fucked up. Uh, they're so obsessive and controlling because their piece of the pie is so small. Their, their audiences, relatively, are hanging in by a thread. And they, they evaporate in and of themselves. Like, e even if you're producing good content, they go away. Like their in, their entire ecosystem of uh, obligation is driven by fear, and everything that they do is is uh, is completely transparent. Uh, eh. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, I don't know. It's gay. Like he, I, I just just. Dick, are you on. telling me you didn't have any rules when you went on the Destiny live stream? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You didn't say, "Hey, don't Jontron me on this one." Um, no, Jontron away. Hit me, as, yeah. hit me as hard as hard as you can. Hit me with your best Jontron. Hit me with by your best. By the way, by the way, Null wants to come back on. Is that, is that okay? Do you guys think? Yeah, yeah I don't, it's your show, man. Yeah, sure. You don't have to fucking ask us. Well, I'm asking. <laughs> I said, I said, Destiny. Before I went to stream, I was like, look, send me your best dick pic. Like, I know they all got <laughs> leaked because you were messaging like a 15 year old girl or something. I, I, I don't know. That's just what I heard. But well, that's all you can get when you're only five foot three. Send me your bet. I know that you're both the same height, and that's cool. It's age is really a that's a that's a construct. Height is, <laughs> is better as a better indicator of who um, is of compatibility. But just send me send me your biggest one to intimidate me. That's all I want. Before Speaking of age being a construct, I I think Dick, you and me should try to convince Medicare to do an internet insanity about David Clegg. Oh, who? Yeah, he's. We, a uh, He's, he's a, a caller to the Dick Show, and he's also been in uh, a lot of my community's uh, bullshit. And I think he's a prime candidate for some. I mean, he he doesn't like uh, grab his shit and play with it like that one guy, but he's he's still pretty uh, entertaining. 
I, I don't know. Send me, send me some info. Send me some, uh, some screenshots of the, the shit he gets up to, or some. Uh, he's like, the most clips sophisticated of pedophile in the world. Oh, he's uh, a pedo, of course. Yeah. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Course. Uh, you know, I, I'm trying not to make my fucking uh, channel pedo outwatch, but <laughs> <laughs> like every they fucking video. Fucking... I'm sorry. He's the most sophisticated ebophile in the world. It's oh, it. No. Yes, oh no. God. No, it's not even ebophile. He he was dating an 11 year old girl. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think Eb is like like teenage. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I don't know the distinctions between each of these. Oh, I've, I've done yeah, my research. You start getting into the distinctions, you've already lost. <laughs> yeah. All right, let, let, let me read these these shekel chats. Internet tab said paddocks, paddocks shooting up the kill stream. F, internet tab then said hotel Wi-Fi can't handle Jim, and that's literally right when it crashed. Uh, Sir Real says Elon has better space tech than Kim Jong Un, so he can talk as much shit as he wants. Uh, PJ Veritech didn't say anything, just did a super chat. And then Trevor Coburn says, Jesus Christ, just put this stream out of its misery. Love y'all, but whatever BS Motel 8 you're staying at is shutting this shit down. Well, we're back, so fuck you. PJ Veritech said, Roseanne didn't do nothing. My foreskin is missing. Said, new one for you. Why do monkeys always frown? Because they know in a million years they're going to turn into Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, no. Uh, Thanks, Roseanne. Yes. Tundra Theory says, apparently you can yell fire in a movie theater. Stephen Thomas says, this is the exact number of Arabs we need. Mike, and that was zero. There was there was no number there. Um, Mike Hunt said, hey, Jim, what's next on the roster? What are you working on? What am I working on? I well, For like the last week or two, I've been uh, stalking furry communities because uh, there was a series <laughs> I, I wanted to do on that shit. So I've been going, man, they... You know, <laughs> like, the shit they put up on DeviantArt is, like, the tame stuff. Like, there's some really fucked up shit. Um, so that's the kind of... The community is falling apart. Yeah, so <laughs> it, it, there's some just fucking bizarre dark shit going on there. Since since you're talking about furries, did you see V's stream about the, the furries? What was it, like, two days ago? All oh, are you asking me if I watch fucking V? <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I just saw it because he was Hey, hey, Jim, do you wa did you watch the Gypsy stream? No, I didn't. I'm sorry. I missed that. Sounds real uh, fucking entertaining, though. I'm just saying, because since you were stalking furry communities, he had alt-furry people on, so... It was it was weird as hell. That's all I'm going to say. And he, uh, uh, I, was, I guess I'll check it out? I, I don't like, know. Like, the first, like, I tuned into it. The first five seconds, he goes, Yeah, I used to be a furry. I'm like, yep, figured that, V. Figured that. <laughs> My question is, how many terabytes of furry porn do you have on your computer for all this research that you're doing? A uh, fucking none. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you know, I'm waiting for the day the cops knock, and I don't want to have a bunch of fucking uh, guys in fursuits yiffing each other and try to explain <laughs> that to the police like I'm not some kind of fucking degenerate. Um, okay, so here's from Fistable, uh, Fistable Frodo for Monkey. Uh, did, what about your school shooting movie? He's asking about that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, cool Cat tried to scam uh, my fan base. So now I, I said, uh, if you don't know Cool Cat was, and if you don't know Cool Cat, that's a whole different thing. But uh, Cool Cat was gonna make a new film called Cool Cat Stops a School Shooting, and he wanted like uh, ten thousand dollars Kickstarter for it. So I, I convinced him, uh, if my fans help to fund it, can I be in the movie? And he's like, Yeah, of course. You can be the school shooter. Fuck it. <laughs> 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 cool cat stops the school shooting but then he he wasn't even close to the goal like he was he was like short four thousand dollars or something so that he changed what the kickstarter was for with two days remaining and i said that that's fucking fraud how dare you so i convinced everybody to get thousands of dollars of refunds and then i said fuck it i'm just gonna make monkey jones stops the school shooting <laughs> so that's the film that i'm gonna make this summer and if any of you want cameos, you can fucking be in it because I don't even care. It's just it's a five dollar budget film. It's All fortunate right. you did that because he would be liable for fraud if it went All through. Right, let me let me read the rest of these these shuckle chats, and then we also have a a new guest. Well, he's not really new. He, he he's been here before. A um, returning, yes, guest. a returning guest. Uh, Hessian in uh, Streamlab says, "Ralph, thanks for putting dick in our ears. Uh, have the blue check marks." trying to justify pedo crap lately ha i guess have they been trying to justify it lately yeah i mean they pretty much always are it's been a twitter moment see if it makes him rage uh and then goy george <laughs> goy george that's pretty good i have to say 
I want Lacey Green to dress up in a concentration camp costume and come all over all over her Kazar milkers. To be honest, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> well, quite specific, I have to say. Uh, Mike Hunt says, "Hey Jim, you gonna dox yourself? Meet Sargon in real life, coward." <laughs> I love uh, Jim. I love everybody who calls you out for like not doxing yourself, and not posting your address on Twitter. Yeah. Why don't you it's show so up and talk to him in person? What it's the not worth it unless you are really dedicated to fucking crazy people. It's not worth it, Jim. It's, well, like, yeah, it's, it's watching fucking... them like hump the ground. They're so desperate. <laughs> well, it's <laughs> always. Oh, oh, come on, Jim. Come on, Jim. It's all these fucking people. Like, I've noticed that a lot of them that say it have all turned their fucking identity into a brand. Like, yeah. they're selling merchandise, yeah. and, like, that's their brand thing, right? Like, you know, Sargon of Akkad is now represented by that image of who he is. He's Carl. And, like, it, it's just really bizarre. Like, I don't think if they were a brand in and of themselves, they would be that tenacious about it. And it's it's bizarre watching people go from, like, anonymity is great to... Oh, you're terrible for being anonymous. I just don't get that fucking mindset. It's a desperation tactic because they they want to pick beef with you for popularity, but there's nothing to By gain the way, from doing that. Sir, hold on. We have some some more shekel shads. I'm not gonna read them right now. I'll read them in a few minutes. Why don't you introduce yourself? You've been on here. Oh, I'm Josh. Evening. And and while you do that, what do you do exactly though? I run I run a little website called the Kiwi Farms. Oh, oh shit. Can, Kiwi Farms. Oh. I think I heard of it once. Wait, or twice. Ralph, did your guest say his name was Josh? Because I'm fairly certain Jarbo runs. <laughs> <laughs> Jihadi Jarbo. <laughs> I'm, yes. I'm fucking up. I'm doxing you by, by giving you my name. I'm, I'm <laughs> just splitting the identity. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, of course, this person was a complete idiot. But you can actually, like, I think the Hoy search, or who is, whatever. I always say Hoy's. Maybe I'm wrong. Whatever. It actually shows your name on there, right? When you when you look up Kiwi Farms, does it not? Am and I it's wrong? not only not only is the site tied to my name. I think yeah. if you click one of the introductory, I have a guide when you register that says, yeah. "Don't do this shit, or people will fuck with you, and they will ruin your life if you don't follow this guide." And to give an example, I, I have edited a post that has my real picture and my real name, and it's just uh, the lyrics to Notorious KKK by me, <laughs> and I'm like. I just say to people, don't post anything that you would not want your real name and picture next to. Because if you fuck up, that will happen. <laughs> so I, I set the bar real fucking low. I make sure people That's understand. That's kind of nice to do, though, isn't it? Like, you no, I, I'm, I'm a huge care bearer, and I look after my flock, and people <laughs> blame me for it. But it's, it's, it's appropriate. If you don't do it, if you let people get fucked over, nobody wants to join your community because it's, it's, it's awful. I'm like 99% sure that David Clegg has a Kiwi Farms page dedicated to him. Who? It's the guy we were talking about earlier. Just you know so who him. does? Mr. Burgers. Um, Burgers? No, yeah. Uh, Mr. Burgers, the guy, the guy who's responsible for all the racist and death threats uh, that were in the lawsuit, was a guy um. named Mr. Burgers, and I tracked him down through Kiwi Farms <laughs> and found that he was a huge Maddox fan and hit him up for a confession. Oh, shit. That he was, that he was sending Maddox and his um, cunt girlfriend all these death threats and, like, racist threats, like, just for fun. Um, yeah, Mr. Burgers is a huge celebrity on Kiwi Farms, and it, like, it, I don't know. It didn't end up doing anything, but it was a huge load off. Was he running the Dick Show HN page, too? No, he doesn't give a fuck about the dick show. He only cares about Maddox. Oh. <laughs> what, a, what a slap in the face. He's the only fan. So, man. <laughs> Imagine getting fucked over by somebody that's supposed to be a fan. Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah. Well, it would have been useful though. if the court, the case progressed at all, but it, it thankfully did not. It was actually, it was actually a very fast case in, in terms of of turnover for, for did you Wall read? Like did you read the case? Of course, I read it. I read everything. Oh, so it's one of the only things I, I don't follow as many threads as many people think. I don't have like an encyclopedia knowledge of the uh, of the website, but I do follow the dick. Yeah, all I'm saying is, is, if you read that, you knew how quickly it was going to be like thrown out. <laughs> like it's all the word cucks in there like twenty times, and he like blames all this shit in it. It's like okay, buddy. Oh, it, you couldn't have written something better. It is a comedic <laughs> masterpiece. 
It's really funny. Jim, what would it take for you to go undercover as a furry at a furry? <laughs> <laughs> I, if I did something like that, I'd have to be full fur suited, which oh, would yeah. be uh, horrific yeah. to begin with. But I'd probably yeah, well, do what the, the dude who showed up at Dashcon did, where he pissed in their fucking ball pit and then videotaped it. <laughs> what would your fursona be? Oh, I don't know, man. I, well, I could, hey, I could go as cool cat and then try to convince them I'm the actual cool cat and then be really creepy towards everybody. <laughs> <laughs> just like really inappropriate comments to everyone and just see how long it takes to sink his fucking reputation. And if somebody tries to shoot up the con, you can stop them. <laughs> yeah, in front of the bullets. Yeah, there you go. Can you do the voice, the cool cat voice? Sound really excited for everything all the time. I, I could go all technical with it and make a little soundboard, so it's just pre-recorded creepy shit that fucker <laughs> said. Uh, that would work. That would work. I mean, what I assume most of the Derek? furries there call each other Daddy Derek and stuff like that, so you'd fit right in. Ah, uh, yeah, I, and then, but then again, like, I mean, this is a community that jacks off to fucking Tony the Tiger from Frosted Flakes. Like, <laughs> they oh. freaked him out so much he had to tell them to stop tweeting at him. So I don't know how oh I fucking God. cope. Yeah. I, how I cope at a fucking furry convention. No, you'd, you'd be great. <laughs> it's this is a, like in a side story, but somebody was telling me about Rainforest, which is a, a big furry convention in Portland. Yep. And they invited, uh, well, they, they didn't invite, but the, the baby furs showed up. And the diaper oh, no. furs are apparently the, the scum of the earth. Everybody fucking hates them universally. And they, I swear to God, the story was they left shitty diapers all over the place as, like, Easter eggs. Yeah, they, they Easter threw... Egg, uh, actual soiled diapers. Yeah, they put them on like, parked cars. I yeah, saw a and video on it. Uh, to from this Internet day, I think all furry conventions are banned in Portland. You can't have them there anymore because the hotels refuse to let yeah, you have some, your furry convention. Because you're going to leave shitty diapers everywhere. Yeah, somebody from that con who worked on it sent letters to every hotel in the vicinity and told them how shitty it was and everything that went wrong with it. So they couldn't do it anymore. Yeah, Internet Historian made a, a video on it, and I watched it, yeah. And the real problem with the furries now, from what I've heard, is that the 2016 election has completely destroyed it. There's nothing left. The people, like, it's it's communists versus, like, Nazis, and that's the state of the fandom, apparently. Nope. It's the alt-furry versus the, I guess, the Antifa furry. I, yeah. Can you really picture that, though? Like, when you, when you think of their community imploding, did you really picture in your fucking head... <laughs> Like a zebra and a penguin screaming about Trump. Like, that's not what I thought would fucking break them apart. But it is what did. It, it broke uh, the fur camel's back, I guess. Oh, Ralph, you know, I, I'm noticing some dead air here. Do uh, you got Viva La Rasa ready to fucking play to fill that up? No, actually, Uh-oh, here we go. <laughs> actually, I do have something. Did you know Tariq Nasheed got swatted today? Wait, what? Really? Tariq, Tariq Nasheed Wait, got really? swatted. Yeah, see, I have stuff. See, no dead air, not here. Not the Ralph retort. <laughs> yeah, Tariq Nasheed got swatted today. There is Fox 11 has uh has coverage. I, I can play it. I can play it. And he has play video. It. Please do, because uh, I haven't seen it. So I'll bring it up. Give me one sec. By the way, I was, I was eating um, rotisserie chicken. Sorry. I, I <laughs> it just so happened right when I came back. It happened to be right when. It's all good. So here, here's here's a tweet from Tariq Nasheed. Here's a full news segment from Fox 11's coverage of the swatting assassination attempt <laughs> a group of online white supremacists tried to carry out against me and my family today. The people responsible are associated with suspected racist real ice Poseidon. I the I, the right. FBI oh. should investigate. <laughs> and I'm going to play the video right now. Fox Los Angeles police officers <laughs> creep up his home, Tariq Nasheed. I mentioned I he fucking love the internet. When police first try to make contact by telephone. Oh god, it's so awful. I think Tariq Nasheed is the only the wearing? only guy so who's fully again, realizing what it's like to be a black and not in America. To his front door. Like he's the only one that's taking advantage of it to its people <laughs> at me. He called the police back and was that advised and to go outside with his ID. They were told that there was bombs well, in the house and bombs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. It was just a whole thing. They and, 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 the police kind of <laughs> suspected that it could have been a swatting thing. Swatting is when someone makes a false report to police, prompting an emergency right. response. Yeah, this is just isn't the same without talk about fucking tonight. text to speech Nasheed shouting is out. A popular figure on <laughs> fucking YouTube racist and shit. Has produced a series of documentaries about blacks in America. Anytime you talk about racial injustice, oh, that's going to make you a target. Going back and Marcus Garvey, Malcolm X, Dr. King. 
think a lot he of believes be white supremacists are behind the swatting, the, the same like ones that troll that, him online I, I and have sent police on false anymore. reports to his public speaking events. Two people are definitely going to go to jail. This, though, is the first time he's been targeted at home and involved his wife and child. Chandler, she remained cool, but questions why he was handcuffed when police already suspected this was a bogus call. They were actually good guys, and I take my hat off to them. They were very professional. But what if they weren't? What's going on with Chris, by the way? I try to keep up every now and then. I notice he started shit talking back on Twitter, which I don't think I've ever really seen. That's him being natural. Well, he also points to an incident I, I, in Kansas earlier this year. That's when actually a man here in Los Angeles told called swatting in Kansas, and then the man there was killed the by police. He talked, and, what is and the they just need to stop playing the news because they can't hear us. Okay. Go ahead. It's, but yeah, it's um he's he's been in a bad bad place for since like November because people have been fucking with him, and it got to a point where they've they've it's not trolling. It, it is criminal activity and I'm very happy to say that I think they'll be going to jail for, for quite some time. Wow. I, I mean it's kind of fucking ironic, right? You would think Chris would be in jail for the GameStop shit and the the fucking uh what was the one where he ran the guy over with his fucking car? Oh that was Michael <laughs> Snyder. He was banned from a game store and he and his mom went there to protest it. And they but he Snyder had told them not to come back. It was like the third time they've come back to the store to yell about him being banned. So he tried to block the car to give it time for the police to come up. And uh, Chris was not having that. <laughs> he decided he was going to go anyway, Snyder would be damned. And thankfully he didn't go to jail for that. That would be tragic if he did. And Snyder wasn't too hurt. So it's just a funny story. Shit. I, I was going to ask too, uh, actually I was going to ask Dick, somebody said in chat that you had a rant about Chris Ray Gunn, you had a little uh, jab yes. at him. Yes, dude, it was really good. I, I, I missed that. So what, can, can, what, did you two have like an interaction or something? Uh, I mean, I don't know if I can redo it. Hopefully, some hopefully someone will clip it and put it on YouTube and says and I, I'm gonna clip it. Yes, but Big Ashton hates Chris Cuck Ray Gun. And <laughs> Cuck Gun. What did you call him? Uh, Cuck, I call Cuck him Ray Chris, Gun. Chris Ray Cuck. Uh, yeah, Cuck, Cuck, Cuck. Cuck. Um, he was like Chris Ray Gun was on Maddox's show a couple times, and when the lawsuit hit. I said, like, yeah, man, so the guy that we've been telling you you're kind of a maybe a hypocrite for endorsing and promoting because he's a cocksucker and his girlfriend is a cunt and she's got a restraining order against her for trying to get people fired, trying to get my girlfriend fired and, like, you're, uh, you're fucking around in, um, in crazy land. Now, finally, we've got some evidence that this guy is a fuckball. He's got a... $400 million lawsuit against free speech that's enjoined, like, peep comedians, their jobs, all this extra shit. You want to, like, you want to pay attention to this? And he goes, well, I don't, I don't want to involve myself in petty drama. I said, okay. Um, petty what, drama, $400 million lawsuit, petty drama. What do you... They're what just you trying to one-up your lawsuit, now, Dick. <laughs> like, have you... Yeah, have you ever... Have you ever defended yourself against anything you are you are some you are some noodly armed fuck who writes parody songs about uh being triggered like you're you're in your whole ballywick your whole personality is based on people being offended but then you're going on this cocksucker show and promote like a guy who's suing over her feelings you pompous ass motherfucker just say i don't know what you're just say i don't know what you're talking about you don't have to say, oh, I, it's petty drama. Like, you don't have to write it off. You don't have to write it off. It's, it's, these, it's these guys who are famous for the first time in their lives, and all of a sudden, like, they're learning what it's like to be a high school jock. Um, don't, don't, al don't always protect your bros. But he, he kept, he, um, how he stood by it. He just, every fucking time, him, Chris Cuck Ray Gun, uh, Monday and Matt, the fat sack of shit, like the g gelatinous, the gelatinous uh, beanbag looking motherfucker, the mojo looking motherfucker. <laughs> who thinks, who thinks the facial hair is a chin? It's not. Like he's not fool. Matt, <laughs> Matt is not fooling anybody. That scruff, that fucking putting green he's got stretched, that chin strap he's got going from ear to ear is not a chin. Is not a chin because in real life, mundane Matt looks like a pasty Gumby. Like he's got <laughs> a flat face, 
that looks that looks like the vampire in Blade. You, everybody remembers Blade, the comic book movie with a standout black lead, Blade. I'm not talking about the Black Panther. I'm talking about fucking Blade, where he's got that disgusting, uh, dis- disgusting blob of a, van- of, a, of a of a vampire creature that just looks like a fucking triangle. Looks like a looks like a giant sized toddler. That's been fed grease for 40 years. That's Monday and Matt, except they slapped a little woolly willy on him. That's Monday and Matt. That's Monday and Matt, a soy soaked, penisless abomination who's, who's full of hurt feelings and, uh, and desperation. Anyway, all these got, guys, go ahead. I was going to say, you guys should be happy. Usually you have to pay to get these rants in advance. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I really, I really fucking hate these assholes who uh, claim to be like, like so, so many of these, so many of the skeptic community and so many, so many of these talking head pricks, uh, uh, like, make their money on outrage. And they're no, they're no different than the, than like the most pathetic uh, mainstream media whatever who just tries to whip up your emotions like for and then they pass the collection plate around but when when it when it's happening right in front, like every everybody's fine yelling at the sun everybody's like oh fuck you fuck you god fuck you sky fuck you sun you fucked me again it's like no uh the sun didn't fuck me this time it was your friend right there what do you think about what do you think about that uh i don't feel comfortable I don't feel comfortable making a stand in my personal life. Like I just want to keep yelling. I just want to keep yelling at the sun and then collecting money from from people who think I'm I'm defending them against something. Like yeah, okay, man. Um, that's that's my rant against Cuck Ray Gun. Okay, uh, yeah, because I I wasn't sure what the backstory on that is, but I mean I get what you're saying. I mean, uh, uh, it's well in Matt's case especially because I mean he was part of that candid shit where they're making fucking AI to censor you and. Yeah. I think he's. I think he backs Sargon on his law or like on his legal defense against uh, what is her fucking name? Akila. Akila, yeah. yeah Akila Hughes. Yeah, yeah Akila Hughes. Where it, it just it's ridiculous shit. Um, the, yeah, it's it, it's such an overreach with a four or three hundred million dollar fucking lawsuit, uh, because he's upset somebody called him cock. Because Maddox has said worse shit on the internet himself, and he would have laughed at a fucking lawsuit like that ten years ago. Yeah. I, I think that isn't it the LA lifestyle or wherever the fuck they did it changed him because now he's disavowing chapters of his book saying it's too edgy mm-hmm. and he didn't mean it and all that stuff. It's, is, it's, that, is that what it was? It it's was weird. It's LA. it's a weird like uh, ring kissing atmosphere that you have to do in LA. Like ev- ev- I mean, the like Harvey Weinstein didn't do anything. He just existed in a position of power. It's just that LA turns everyone into whores. Like. L.A. makes women, uh, L.A. preps women to fuck anything to get on TV and movies, and it makes men ready to say anything. Well, that's like, the that's the funny thing. You hear all these celebrities talk about rape culture, and it's like, what the fuck are you talking about? I've never heard anybody in my life condone rape. And then you yeah, figure yeah. out later that it's Hollywood. Yeah. They're all fucking rapists and crazy people in Hollywood, and they're projecting it on me. And it's like I don't, I don't appreciate that. I don't fucking need this. Yeah, they're all attracted to it. It's, it's fucking. I mean, they're weird. not even rapists. They're just guys who say yes. Like yeah. they happen, to, they happen to have a job at a stu- at a movie studio, and uh, women will throw themselves at it um, like they're worth nothing, and they are. <laughs> well, you... somebody brought up in the chat. He said, uh, "LA makes people like Corin." Have you seen Corin by any chance, Stick? Is that the Baked Alaska broad? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's not the young one. It's the older one. They're both the same, though. By the way, she's yeah. messaged me. She, she's, she's uh, sending me uh, text right now. Let me guess. She wants to come on stream. Yes. Only thirty yes. percent of your super chats, right? <laughs> she, wants, she wants to come on. <laughs> I want to talk to Joshua, owner of Kiwi Farms. I said, can you use Hangouts? She said, no. And I said, well, you can't, <laughs> I said, well, you can't get on then. And uh, she said, okay. I'm in Malibu with celebs and rock stars, I but I will call in. Uh, I'm not a professional streamer. I'm Generation X. You should have told me. That and- bitch is not Generation X. Are you fucking kidding me? Have you seen how old she is? Like, fucking No. Ask her where she was when the Challenger exploded. Ask her where she was. 
the national anthem. Look, Karan, if you can if you can use Hangouts, I I, 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 would, I would prefer if she didn't. I'm having I'm having a chill atmosphere. She said, "You made fun of me, and I've been hearing about it all week. Thus, yeah. I want to work with you as it builds both of us." No, I'll bring her. Oh God, please bring her out. <laughs> but be a good mediator. <laughs> I want to talk to Kiwi Farms for real. Oh, Listen. God. Yeah. I will bring you on. All you have to do is literally click the Hangout link. It's not that hard. Yeah. If you have a fucking Gmail, you can get she, on. She's Google just going to say the same three or four fucking things. Well, about yeah, how women and shit. It's, God, she's so fucking annoying and awful and stupid. She's such an insipid fucking cunt. I can't stand her. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, I'm there with you. The only thing she can do is <laughs> Don't worry, show her Instagram not... like seven times. She's you not... know what? She, she'll come on and say the, uh, the, uh, the same three phrases. Yeah, uh, this okay. is a this is a Me Too generation, oh. forever, and she'll spell it out, and then she'll talk about I I'm so new at this, you guys. Do you know how to TTS? Do you guys know how to set up a stream? Can you help me do my technology? That's all she. Had. Those Be are the three. Yeah, those are the fucking three <laughs> things she parrots every fucking time she's on. Yeah, I just said, can you click Hangout? LOL. She said, how? I'm in the middle of Malibu. Okay, well. She figures it out. Uh, uh, somebody said I mean, Malibu doesn't chat. make you retarded. I'm very. Yeah, no, that's not <laughs> what do you mean? How? Fucking. How, how do I click this? Phones how? work exactly the same in Malibu that they do all over the rest of the world. But Dick, she's with Tell her to press Alt F4. It fix everything. Yeah. No wait, she had two hundred thousand subscribers. Don't. No, she didn't. She's uh, such a lying. <laughs> <laughs> of course she didn't. Yes, I know. <laughs> Those were views, and even... Ralph, even why don't you ask her, ask her uh, question for me? Because it's like, okay. what, midnight in fucking Malibu? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, why, why don't you ask her? What is she doing in the middle of Malibu at midnight? Is she walking the street? Would you ask her that for me? Okay. <laughs> Wait. Got him. Got him. Okay, I'll ask her. She's probably watching this. She already knows. She's watching this, no doubt. I mean... Oh, is she watching this? Is she watching this on the? Uh, how else would she know? Yeah. On the iPad she stole from Paul Danino, allegedly. Is that what she's watching this on? <laughs> walking street. What are you doing in the middle of Malibu right now? Question. Walking street. Question. She says, "I'm with a rock band that is super famous." <laughs> yeah, I'm in the recording studio. Okay, which one? <sighs> That's such bullshit. How the fuck does she in. lie like that? How does she Karen, think we can't have you call enough. in. First off, off I'm not even running the stream. Like, that's how bad <laughs> my internet is. Like, I had to have somebody else run it. So, anyway. Yeah, have you noticed, too, how she'll always say super famous, powerful people, but then she yeah. never tells you their name? No. Nope. Yeah. No, but wait, she's friends with Ted Turner. He he wants to launch a new CNN. <laughs> with her in the head. He wants to run, launch a new CNN, and me and her can can possibly host our own program together. <laughs> what else is like she... the Regis and Kathy Lee? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Ralph, I think she's confused when she talked to Ted Turner. I think he said, I want to redo wrestling again, and I want you to wear a <laughs> chicken suit in the fucking... Uh... <laughs> The, the ring with uh, Hulk Hogan or something. I want to relaunch WCW. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you did it perfectly. <laughs> you know, I'm actually mildly concerned that she will launch some frivolous bullshit uh, legal suit against me. Because uh, she's the type. going to hunt down Landau. <laughs> no, she seems, Just I mean, don't open like, your door, man. That was my mistake. Just don't <laughs> well, open can't, the door. Can't does that work, Dick, if you just don't answer the door? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Yes, it does. They have Matt to serve you. Didn't get served. Eventually, they can't. If they attempt to serve you through all reasonable means, they can eventually just put an advertisement in their local paper. To yeah, say, but but to do that though, they have to be certain that it's one you that they have your identity and it really is you. And then two, they have to be certain you live in the region they put it in the paper in. So if they can't confirm you as being you, that's putting not it true. Because uh, one paper. some psychopath went after my aunt, and she was able to put an ad just in a local newspaper. Yeah, but the, 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 what I'm saying is, were they certain it was your aunt? You get what I'm saying? Like, if well, your identity's out there though, so you're kind of fucked. Yeah, no, uh, which is fine. I'm gonna. I guess I'll ask Dick to borrow his lawyer because he has a lawyer in Cali. That'd be fun. I'll come oh, over. I'll meet I'll you in the, the paper. You'll be safe. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> um. So, who was that? Was that somebody in chat? Said, please spare us. 
Corinne, look, she's not gonna be able to figure it out anyway. So ask her, ask else... her who the super famous band is. I want to. Say, I want the name to ask it's her. Probably the band from that Vegas was... show that celebrated the death of the country fans. Oh, no FX. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Noff X. <laughs> No, I'm sure he's putting out fires right now. He can't. He can't Who is this her. band? Okay, I just sent her that. Well, yeah. she she messaged me like I didn't send anything to her. She just like I guess heard this was on or was, or was watching it already. She's like, I want on. I want to talk to the owner of Who Kiwi the fuck Farms. is this bitch? Because I have no idea who we're talking about. Ah, uh, some fucking whatever nutbag from Ice Ice well, you, you have to give him a better idea than that. Okay, so I want you to imagine a Barbie doll that had a blowtorch taken to its face. That's kind of what she huh. looked. Oh. Okay. And, and she's she's she makes up all these like elaborate fantastic stories about personally funding the LAPD and hanging out with Hollywood and politicians oh, wow. in Washington. Uh, and yet, you know, as rich as she is and as famous as she is, she can't seem to sue Kiwi Farms to make them stop making fun of her. It's been a month now of her complaining about it and threatening lawsuits, but never actually going through with anything. Now, is she well, actually, does she have like a following? Is she famous for something? No, no. no. The only people that ever watched her were like Ice Poseidon fans that wanted her to kill herself. So, <laughs> but, I mean, that's you literally. Spamming it in her chat. Yeah, I mean, I'm not even joking. Like, that's literally the only people that ever watched her. What's funny with Ice Poseidon is that after a point, she said, like, aren't you famous? Aren't you famous? You have the money to pay me. And he's like, no, I just had like a couple thousand viewers. And she's like, oh, okay. And then she left. She just fucking left. <laughs> Tell her there's a producer on your show that wants to make a, a movie about her life story. <laughs> she will She will literally walk to Ralph's house if he tells her that. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. Get her on. I'll, I'll be the producer. We have oh. a producer who wants to put you. Yeah, he, you used to produce episodes of Dr. Phil. Yeah. Now you want to branch out. <laughs> you know what's funny is you could Dr. probably Phil. send her the uh the dick masterson phil dr phil appearance and say that's me and she would probably believe it <laughs> and she would start doing her fucking rant about how he hates no wait she said her was daddy was gonna sue you yeah she did a multiple he, times are, oh are she sent me an email that? actually I did she what did it say um oh it, it's just some bullshit oh here's what happened she sent me a threatening email saying like uh you're you're posting my personal information you can't do that and whenever somebody who wants attention starts emailing me shit like that, and I, I know that they're after attention, I usually just start replying with the, the phrase, the single phrase, I am not interested in promoting your content at this time. And I don't make a big fuss out of it. She sent me, she's the only person, I've done that to 10 people. She's the only person to send messages as a follow-up to that, saying like, but you've already promoted my content. You've already promoted my content. And I just keep regurgitating this fucking phrase back at her. Like a and bot. Yeah, and she still kept replying. It happened like ten fucking times. I will, I will find the, uh, the actual email though. So I said, I said, okay, hold on, hold on. I said, what are you doing in the middle of Malibu right now? And I said, Waking Street. I meant Walking Street. Uh, and then I said, who is this band? We have a producer who wants to put you in his movie. Yeah. She, she said, okay. <laughs> She said, okay, I'm at a recording studio in Malibu. I'm downloading Hangouts now. Yeah. And I said, come oh, on. Oh, what here. a thirsty hey. bitch. The one <laughs> you said producer. Download it fucking faster. This guy, he's got money and it walks. <laughs> Do famous bands usually record at one in the morning? Yeah. yeah. Maybe, yeah. Uh, yeah, you know. Yeah. Because they do so many drugs, they, like, they wake up at 2. So this is like their 3 p.m. Yeah, anybody else catch that response that she didn't name the fucking band? Real, real convenient. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And like all of a sudden, she's downloading Hangouts now too. Uh, when she downloading, she Just couldn't so, use it for weeks, but now, link. but now she's all over it. Like, yeah, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. Uh oh wow, super chats. Excuse me, shuckle chats. Uh, been killing it, Ralph. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Thank you, Mike Hunt. One hundred percent Italian says, "Show Jim the Pokemon vid." Have you seen that? Uh, which one? Uh, hold on, I'll have to find it. It's oh, called Pokemon it the, Go it, to the Polls. It's really funny. Hillary Clinton's up on stage. Is it the one he played? Uh, I think it was yeah. yesterday with yeah. uh, uh, V and Sargon. Yeah. V is eradicate. Yeah. 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 No, I saw that. That was really well done. <laughs> <laughs> that was good stuff. Uh, oh man, I wish I could do cool shit like that. Um, Macabus says, "Isn't Mumkey good friends with Shoe on Head?" <laughs> 
uh, she followed me on Twitter, and I was like, oh shit, and I, I tweeted about it, saying, oh, this hot chick is following me, and then she instantly, like, blocked me and deleted all the tweets that she posted <laughs> linking to my videos and shit. <laughs> I called her hot, and she, like, had a meltdown. Uh, I guess Pregory didn't like the... She, yeah, I was about to say, you know what yeah. probably happened is she probably fangirled about it, and then fucking big-ass Greg walks in the room, what the fuck is this? I mean, you have to imagine something like that, because from her content, it, doesn't she preach about how girls who do that kind of shit are, like, retarded? Yeah, yeah. she's not that Pretty good. much. All right, Dick Tino, Dick Tino says, a big yeah for pain, Wienerstein. Yeah! <laughs> from Phil with the TDS tattoo. Oh, Phil on toe. Red. Gerudo Tempest says, ask Jim his thoughts on the guy with... 60 terabytes of child pornography. Yeah, can somebody explain to me how that's fucking possible? <laughs> like, the, the amount of child porn is ridiculous. He would have to have a copy of fucking everything. Like, every kid that's ever been touched was on this guy's fucking computer. 60 terabytes. Well, you know what? I don't want to bring down the, the, the atmosphere, but you know what the more likely answer is, right? He probably had a high digital recorder and recorded it himself. Okay, see, this, somebody brought this up, and I'm, I'm trying to picture the pedophile that wants everything in 4K with, like, black. <laughs> Yeah, isn't the grittiness of, like, the dark basement, like, what helps get them off? Well, yeah, apparently he wanted high-definition tears. Like, I don't understand <laughs> how you need the 60 gigabytes of it. It seems kind of fucking ridiculous, but... Oh, That's why they fired Zack Snyder. Is he involved in this video. somehow? Yeah, okay, it's fucking creepy. Uh, Ralph, I, I just sent you a link to the, uh, the email. The, she gave me a voicemail, too. I forgot about the voicemail. No shit. You, oh, wait, you sent it on Twitter? Yeah, just retweet it, because I can't post it in chat. Twitter, I'm a complete degenerate, so Twitter's definitely the, the best. And it's, it's best you just retweet me, because I can probably get banned for that, and it won't affect your account, hopefully, if I do get banned. Okay. Um, okay, that was you, Josh, right? Yeah, the Kaiser. Okay. All right. She left you a voicemail. Yeah, it, she also docks herself in the voicemail, so if you're interested well, in that, I mean... she can... Uh, well, it's yeah. probably already out there, but if you want to hear Docs, by the way, the kill stream, we don't support doxing. Please don't harass anybody we're talking about she here. Herself. It's a fucking no, thing. no, let's just let's just put that out there. Yeah. Ralph, Ralph, why are you winking into your camera? <laughs> <laughs> it's like I just, I just want to say. every time she's on air, she just. Always says her phone number like eighteen Here's times. Here's the post, by the way. I'll send it to Zidane since I can't actually like make it come up, but he can. Thank you, Hotel Internet. <laughs> but yeah, there's there's the clip. Jesus Christ. She said she's downloading it. I don't even know if I want her on to be on this book. I don't I I either. You should message her and say, hey, time is money. He's got important things to do. <laughs> yeah, important things to get to. No, wait. She says, I got hangouts. Now what? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh fuck it. You know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Ralph, you need to send this dumbass to a website that's going to download a fuck ton of malware <laughs> onto her phone. Tell her you need an extension. What's a horrible website to send her to? And <laughs> fucking get her to download something. One of those dot .ru sites? Yeah. Uh. And she repeated, I'm at a recording studio in Malibu. Why would I give a fuck about that, though? Like, I don't... Outside the <laughs> recording studio with hiking her skirt up looking for a ride. I don't even know. Oh. <laughs> Tonka's in chat. He said, do the right thing, Ralph. Kill that link you sent to her. But we know it's going to be hilarious, though. I mean, part of me says, no, don't bring her on. The other part of me says, this would be fucking funny as fuck. Yeah, yeah we, we can just kick her anytime we want. All right, well, we'll see. I'm still not confident that she could actually get on the stream. And she <laughs> will. I will say this: if she makes it on the hangout, she will have impressed me. So, you should, ask, you, you should ask your chat. Uh, chat, uh, press one if you think Corinne will actually make this work. Press two if you think <laughs> uh, she's too fucking dumb to make a hangout work on her stupid phone. <laughs> I don't have a lot of confidence. Oh, she is. She's the uh, yeah. No, she is. She is dumb. She is a dumb, dumb. chance. There's she's a hundred percent. It's more likely. Producer. It's more likely she's going to like show the hangout link, than it is that she's actually going to get in here. Maybe it's 
she heard us talking shit and she wants to post the link in the chat. I'm seeing a lot of twos. Well, I mean, if that does happen, it wouldn't be hard to like counteract. We would just... Or maybe since she's hanging out with Nickelback, we'll get them in the stream too. No, she's here. She's here. Oh, no way. way. Nickelback. <laughs> no way. Wait, I'm screaming. Is that okay? Wait. I she's do here. not fucking believe it. <laughs> no way! Yeah, she's here. Hey, I'm Corinne. I'm here. Corinne is here. It's really dark. I, no one can see you. I know, because I'm in Malibu, and I don't want anyone to be able to know where I am. I'm at a recording You, you can just turn off your camera. Uh, what band are you in? What do I do? First off, let me eat my words. I did not think. Yeah, I didn't think so either. You I able. figured it Corinne, out. You're proving you a that? lot of people wrong tonight. You're proving a lot of people wrong. Dude, you made I'm it. So I'm such a cool girl. We should all just get along, seriously, because I have a lot to offer. We Show your tits, though. We can't see you. We can't see I you. Know, on the thing. I know, but I'm, I'm in the middle of Malibu. <laughs> I know. I know where Malibu. And my friends yeah. don't want me doing this. Like they don't want to be part of all this drama. They don't want to be seen on camera with, with you. Part of your story. You've got an incredible story to tell. I it's do. Perseverance against bullying. Yeah, thank you. Why so wouldn't they want to be a part nice. of that? Wait, why is someone nice on the phone? Is that wrong? No, I, mean, I mean, I'm not <laughs> I'm nice. I just, I like making good movies. I like making compelling stories. Have you seen the X-Men movies? I like, no, I don't watch those stupid movies. I barely watch movies, you guys. I'm very busy. I Have mean, you seen Dr. Phil? That's okay. We want to make a movie about Dr. you. I don't Phil. The point so is, I think you... that we should all make peace and give good content because I have a lot to say that's going to piss you all off. No, no, no. We don't want that. We want positivity. You've got a good story. Oh, you want positivity now, not negativity? No, no, no. We don't want negativity. We're done with negativity. We want positivity from you. Okay. We want to know what you want to tell to the world. Wait, who's talking right now that's being so nice to me? This is such a that's blessing in disguise. That's the film producer. Disguise. I'm the film producer. This oh, is the guy I was telling you about. This guy's got connections all over okay, Hollywood. Wait, wait, Jamie, I'm totally lost. What do I do? Um, we gotta see you. We have to see you. We gotta show. We gotta see you on the camera first. Okay, hold on. You want me to? Pl I mean, I'm trying yeah. To my if you can find a black minute. leather couch to sit on, that would really help. Okay. Yeah, you, okay. Can I call you're you in your car. Back? You said you were okay, in a recording studio. Can I call studio. you guys back? Because I didn't want anyone. No, Corinne. What are you doing? We don't want. Can I call you back in five minutes? We don't have all day. We don't have all day. Come on. I don't want anyone to know what I'm doing. You're in your car. We can see. We can see you. Just stop. She's with her John. <laughs> I know, but what, I don't. I'm on Zuma Mesa. What do I do? Karen, did you not figure out the car door? I was. I went from impressed to disappointed again, real quick. Oh, you are. Okay, that's so sweet. Do you care if I'm streaming? I'm streaming on this guy, Ralph. Why would he care? Show. He's kind of cool. He doesn't know me. <laughs> okay. I'm streaming on Ralph's show. Oh, okay. No problem. You're kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ralph. I like that guy. No big deal. I'm when is she going to show her kids? Show Bob's. Okay, so you're the driveway waiting? No, don't. Actually, okay, don't. Okay, I'm going to come right. I'm coming right. I'm there right now. Okay. You guys, I'm at a really famous person's studio, and I can't tell you who it is. You're oh, in your me. car. What are you <laughs> talking about? I just had to get out and go get a bottle of wine and talk to you guys, because all my fans are texting me that you guys are talking about me. And now I'm going Karen, to... Karim, we literally weren't studio. talking about you. You just messaged me, and you said, I want to talk to the owner of Kiwi Farms. and he. I actually... know. Everyone's texting me that you guys are talking about me. So... We weren't, though. Anyway. Okay, okay, so you weren't, okay, so fucking forget it. I don't know what to say to you. I'm trying to help. No, but you wanted but... to talk to the Kiwi Farms dude. He's here. Oh, yeah, okay, Joshua Moon. Is that his name? Hi. Hi, Joshua. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Do you, you? want me to name the celebrities I hung out with today? I could not possibly give less of a fuck. Oh, I want to hear. You can tell me. <laughs> come on, come on. Oh, okay. Uh, Joshua, you wrote that I don't know any celebrities and you wrote these really stupid things and it's really dumb and I'm suing you, dude. Yes, okay. Daddy, Tom Girardi's gonna be up your ass. He You're doesn't do personal lawsuits like You're that. He represents sexist. companies that it's have customers. No, 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 Josh, you're getting it's your ass sued. It's the Me Too generation. It's Me Too and you cannot be sexist. I told you! Corinne. Is even a real person? Yeah, Corinne, yeah. I think we can all agree that the pussy has the power. Am I right? <laughs> And hanging out with celeb, if, if we can all agree with that, and if you are hanging out with celebrities, then you are hanging out with celebrities. 
And no one. I know, but none of them want to hang out with you guys. That's the problem. They How many suckers. potted they plants have they jerked off are. into? Nobody wants to know. Nobody even knows who you are. Well, you know who you are, Corinne. Uh, I mean, I think she died. No, she's roboting. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you drink boxed wine in a car. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's in but the Karen, studio. But, There's but no wait, but signal. she says nobody knows who we are. I mean, that's probably true, but but, but you know who we are. I mean, you know, the producer of the Dr. Phil show. He's, he's real big. Corinne, he's not like she did. She's still talking. She's just talking to herself. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Is this like a night? <laughs> Oh, what is going on? Uh, no! <laughs> Can we kick her now? Yeah, I think. I think. Corinne! I, I just see lights in, in yeah, her camera. I, I like, don't... she's desperately wandering around a parking lot. <laughs> is she, is she right living out of her car? No, there no, wait, we... there's, oh. there's her face. Hold on. But I can't hear her. Yeah, we can't hear you, Corinne. I love three frames per second. This is quite <laughs> Oh, look, she broke into somebody's studio. <laughs> was, oh, shit, so is sorry. that Nickelback? Well, yeah, Nickelback obviously records at Holiday Superstation. Of course, that's a <laughs> pretty good location. It's like the Planet of the Apes at all. Every... She's talking and we can't hear anything. It's no doesn't testing. realize she muted herself. Oh, m Did she mute herself? Or no, she's not even work. listening to us. Yeah, she's still talking. <laughs> I can't hear you, Corinne. Oh, it's man. like, Corinne. Corinne, if you can't make the sound work, we're about to peacefully sunset you. I feel like I'm watching that fucking VHS from The Ring. Like, it's just <laughs> frames with fucking shots of her head, and then none that, of it makes sense. Whoever is running the stream should click her avatar so it, it full screens it, so people can see what I'm watching, which is fucking... Oh, yeah, I'm not running the stream. But there you go. I don't, I don't know if that made it full or not. Yeah. It did, and it's all pixelated, and it's. She, uh... she does appear to be at some. That's a soundboard. She, she's staring at her camera one. like a monkey, trying to figure <laughs> out what it is. That is a real mixer. Corinne, we can't hear you. Does she even have headphones in? Can she hear us at all? No, she's just she she's staring at oh, her phone. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can hear Malibu. Perfectly. Uh, Malibu. Can you oh, she me? said she can hear us. Yes, we can hear you now. Yes. Okay, good. It was muted, sorry. <laughs> All, good. All good. Keep on Hopefully you can file lawsuits better than you can operate recording equipment. Corinne, these guys are saying that you don't know any celebrities. I know how to find I know how to find the best lawyers though, let me tell you. Yeah, but those aren't celebrities. They're saying you don't know any celebrities because you're not mm, cool. I don't care. Do you think I care about what you guys say? How many yes. lawyers go to the red light Probably district? Know. All I know is that I want to give you guys the ultimate respect because I think what you're doing is the future of all media. And I want to help spread the word that it's really cool. But the way you bashed me is stupid because I'm on your team. And so you shouldn't make me an enemy. I'm a worthy ally. So right. Cal Chris said that she's using a green screen. <laughs> 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 what do you think, Jim? What, Jim, what do you think? I mean, what do you What's think about? Screen? What do you think about? What do you think about? Oh God, I'm just gonna ignore that. Oh, I'll, I'll answer your question, Corinne. A green screen is a screen that's green. I know it's complicated. <laughs> I'm not using a green screen. I'm not. Do you know what a green screen is, though? Do the people that own that studio know you broke in? I <laughs> had sex with the 23 year old. What? Wait, what? She said something about sex with a 23 year old. Jim, you realize yeah, that you these days green screens are blue screens. The reason that I started. Well, I don't want to confuse her too much. <laughs> you add in a few more primary colors and her head's. <laughs> <laughs> my eight year old and made a really stupid decision, and that's why I got to know all of you guys. Okay, what did you say about fucking a 23 year old? You cut out. Exactly. You can't hear, can you? No, we can. It's because you're in a fucking studio and it's blocking Plus the sound. Celebrities. No more. Oh god. <laughs> this is such a disaster. <laughs> uh, oh, there she goes. Get her out. Dick, I have to applaud you. You're you're fucking you're sharp. You're sharp. I saw what you were doing. Oh, thanks, man. I'm just. You should have asked her about her dad. Yeah. If. 
I don't want you know if we could have got through the robot stuff. Yeah, she she. Well, you know, women like they get they get real upset and they throw out everything, and then there's a moment when they get tired, and that's when you hit them with the dad stuff. They're like a horse. Like you got to dad her. What's that? Are you gonna dad her? Well, that's when you just ask them about. Like that's when you get personal. Like, what, so what did your dad do to you? Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> But, you know, it's not usually all that bad. What do you think, uh, Jim? She's a worthy ally. She 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 thinks we're the future of, of all media. You ever see, like, a, a clip of, like, a soccer match where the goalie <laughs> fucks up and kicks it in his own net? Yeah. That's, the kind of, that's the kind of ally in teamwork she's representing for everybody here. Yeah. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah self-destructive allyship would be what you would fucking categorize. I just want to know what studio she's at, and what poor band let this woman into the recording area. They have to be fucked up and passed out somewhere. Well, it sounds yeah. like it's a I mean, 23-year-old. She legit looked, I mean, it did appear no, to be in she the She was studio. probably fucking one of them in the car. So one yeah, of the how else that's... would she be in there unless she was fucking some guy in the band? I'll tell you guys who it is. It's, a, it's Malibu. It's a, it's a community of old, rich guys. She was in a studio probably built by some 60-year-old guy uh, who has dreams of making it big, and his cover band lured her back into their little, uh, into their love den to record <laughs> like Beat Boys covers. That's the band, that's the band she was in in Malibu right now, because nobody I mean, fucking records in Malibu. Oh, well, I mean, imagine the quality of the band if that's a groupie, you know, <laughs> like if that's the one. That... <laughs> exactly. Well, it's, that's the one they invite to the studio. It's a Thursday Harry night. The we're drinking early. This is what they got. You just got to deal with it. Well, at least I got one of three. She did say it's a Me Too generation. If she had been on longer, we would have got the other two classic she, lines. She said that I hated women, too. Yeah, we got the, we... To be fair, I do have to give her credit. Yeah, yeah, she did hit that button. <laughs> I gotta say, like, I have to give, you know, a tip of the hat to her actually making it on the call. Yeah, there's no way I thought she was gonna make she it. couldn't do that a week ago. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as you said movie producer, she was, like, on it. That's literally what got her going, yeah. My favorite part was just when she was holding the camera up, looking at it, like some kind of, like a, like a primitive, trying to figure out what alien technology was. It, that was, that was fucking common. Yeah, she looked like the cop from the stream earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Bad boss, what you gonna do? <laughs> uh, Is so he at what are you going to do? I mean, you're going to get sued now, right? So you've yeah, got to run and cover, right? Well, gonna... I've been sued three times, and each time it's been thrown out of court, what's called sua sponte, which means that the judge reads it, says this is fucking garbage, and just dismisses it automatically. But her dad's rich, didn't you hear? He's a big I guy. Hear, I did hear it. It worries me. <sighs> just don't open the door. Well, yeah. the thing is, I have, uh, I have a, a not like a P.O. box, but like a, a virtual office in Florida, and that's my official address for everything. And it, those guys, they're just the fucking worst. And mail gets lost all the time. Oh, that, that's very true. But, I mean, the one thing I'm trying to, like, picture in my head is this, this chick's got to be, like, fucking 50 pushing 60. So her but, dad has to be, like, 85. That's so how is, she, how is she explaining this to him? Like, people are making fun of me on the Internet, Dad. He probably doesn't know what a computer is. I would say she's I – would, I would guess 48. How old do you guys think she is? 42. Oh, you guys are way too fucking generous 52. with the amount of plastic surgery she's had. No, that I'm bitch is plastic. Say 58. 53. Yeah. Right. Not uh, too bad. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Ooh, Corinne is back. Welcome back to the Me Too generation, girl. Oh, yeah, is that a Photoshop profile Wait. picture? Man, I can't even hear him. That's not Photoshop. That's just like drawn. No. <laughs> hey, Corinne, Corinne, what was the first concert you went to? Um... The first concert I've been to this year or last no, 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 year. No, in your concert. life. In your life. We're talking Sean we're Cassidy talk. at the Hollywood Bowl. Sean Cassidy at the Hollywood Bowl. How old were you there? Oh, God, do you think I remember? I'm ageless, timeless, and eternal, and I'm probably a vampire. <laughs> I probably never died. Probably like 14. 14. I'm probably a vampire, and I probably never died. Why does age matter anyway? Why are you? Why do you care? Vampires you're are pretty die, good description. You're going to die no, no matter so I'm what. Trying to, I'm trying to prove that um, age doesn't matter. Um, I don't think age matters. I think what matters is your is your passion in life. 
What was, you will die at some what was point. the first movie you remember? What was the first movie <laughs> you were inspired you're by? Charisma. Your charisma huh. is what matters in life, dude. I don't care how old you are, and I'm not going to tell you who I was with today at dinner, but Age she is probably one of the hottest celebrities in the world. Age of Aquarius. And she's got three kids, and she's like 65 now, and she's still hot. Yeah. Hot. What do you think about Tom Jones? I don't think anything about Tom Jones. What do you think about Tom Jones? Who is Tom Jones? We have no clue. All right. Give me another one. Ask me about Robert Plant. Ask me about Bono from U2. Who's the hottest singer in the world? Uh, what was your What's your favorite Robert Plant song? Axl Rose. My favorite Led Zeppelin song is Thank You, the greatest song ever written in the world, because no matter what, you have to be grateful for what you have. Where were you when you heard that? How old were you when you heard oh, that? Oh, I like this person talking. Who's talking to me now? I'm it's a still the movie producer. Film. Oh, my God, you're, like, normal. I like you. Yeah. Um, what's your name? Cast, I'm trying to cast women for a new show about anti-bullying. Well, guess what? I'm the bully fighter. You're a bully fighter, really? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Why do you think that? Yes. Why do you feel that? Can you guys see me or not? Unfortunately, no. How do I make you guys see me? Well, who's what's the band? What's the band that you're there recording with? No, I'm in a recording studio that go that many bands use. How do I answer that question? Well, what, what do I say? I mean, what band are you? What I'm in a professional band recording band. studio in Malibu that many bands use. But Which no one band. is using it right now? What's your, your, I mean, should I say or no? Well, I mean, you know, it would. It's Am all I allowed to say band? Obviously, but do you, do you want to promote any of your bands or no? Well, I'm you, getting permission. Rock Against Trafficking, baby. Rock, rock Against one. Trafficking. Well, you're right. That is a famous band that we've all heard of. No, it's a concert that we're doing to Rock Against Trafficking. Trafficking it's a of charity of, we're doing. Trafficking of like cars, like we hate traffic. Of trafficking cars. of little <laughs> girls and little boys to wealthy people who just want to use them for sex and then kill them. Well, we don't want little boys or little girls driving. They're terrible drivers. They'll cause traffic. Baby, we're talking about sexual trafficking. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like a good cause. But, you know, studios studios are not are not necessarily owned usually by the rock band. They're owned by its, the, its own studio, and the rock band uses it. Most rock bands don't have their own studios. They go to different studios in different really? areas. You so sound because like you're not in rock and roll, you don't get it. You sound like you're well-versed in studios. Uh, I've been to a lot of studios, and I hang out with um, a lot of rock stars, and they're all very political. You think I'm political? They're political, and they'd be pissed at Mr. Miniker. They would torture that poor guy. Mr. Man, he's so pathetic, would, isn't he? They would be, well, he says too many bad words, and they would be pissed. Uh, it, it's Mr. Minotaur, okay? Oh, That's Minotaur, right. whatever the guy's yeah. name is. Well, it's That's a right. fake name anyway, so why do we care? We can just call him Idiot. That's right. Not, Mr. Never Minotaur give us is an name. idiot. I agree with you. <laughs> Jim the Idiot, because he'll never give us his real name. But listen, oh, um, most bands first, don't have their own studio. They use other people's studios. Why Correct. is that? Who was the first president you voted for? Just curious. The first president I voted for, I'm with my friend Mac Daddy, and he is owns the studio. Yeah. Um, the first president Mac I voted Daddy. for, let me tell you, let me think. Yeah. Was it JFK? Are you crazy? <laughs> Bill Clinton, you idiot. My God, what is wrong with you? By the way, I love Bill. I oh. almost had sex with Bill. I love him. Really? <laughs> Wait, <what>? <laughs> <laughs> I met Bill in Alabama in 2007, uh, and I really, uh, his charisma is phenomenal, but he's married, and I don't play with married men. Uh, that's interesting. Was it his saxophone playing that loop? No, that he is no. the most charismatic man, but he's kind of short, but he is just sexy. You know, when you just meet someone and they're hey, just I'm, sexy for no he's reason. He's tall wearing couch though. <laughs> hey. And I know Trump. I know all his kids. I know Obama. Are you worried that Bill and Hillary are going to try to shut down this anti-kid trafficking thing? I don't know how, I really don't believe that they're part of kid trafficking. I really don't believe well, that. What do you think is going on at that pizza shop? Um, I think the pizza gates are made up from a lot of different shit, just like uh, Kiwi Farms puts a lot of shit together that is all bullshit. I think that's yeah, what's going on. Yeah, they fucking do. They fucking, they fucking well, do. Kiwi you, Farms talks tons of shit about me, Corinne. I I'm, know. Why? Who are you? Um, I'm Adam Schiff. I love you. You're such a good guy. What city are you in? Um, Los Angeles. I'm, I'm, in in Los, I'm in Malibu. Let's hang out tomorrow. Let's hang out. Let's do it. Oh my God! Who are you? I'm a producer. Oh my God! Well, why don't you um why don't you come to Beverly Hills or I'll meet you somewhere tomorrow or Saturday? I mean, Beverly Hills is kind of fucked. Let's. Do I think it. that you are kind of lying though, because you guys like to tease me all the time. So. No, I'm. I swear to God. Okay. Well, I will help please, you please do your me. movie please because 
it's not the bullying that's happening in the workplace anymore. It's all on the internet now. Internet bullying is the number one biggest problem facing the youth of the world. Yeah, oh, like, yeah. You should what see what they, happened to George Azunian. He got fucked by internet bullying. What do they What do they call you, Corinne? Like on the internet? What is some? Oh of my! Well, like, I got hacked three dude, times by I, like my that? first channel. My first channel was Corinne esque, and it was hacked at 174,000 subs. My yeah. second channel, Ask Corinne, was hacked by Daniel Pranzer, Ask who Corinne? is named you DJ on the Ice Poseidon Ask Show. Corinne? My third channel was hacked. It was called Corinne Ask 2.0. So now I'm on Corinne Forever. I've been hacked three times in one month. So why are people so intimidated by me? I mean, you got to stop naming your channels like Corinne Ass 2 and Ask Corinne and shit like that. Okay, so it's Corinne Forever. C-O-R-I-N-N-E-F-O-R-E-V-E-R. And do you want to know something, Ralph? When I went on your show, all night long, people were calling me from all across America saying how much they loved me. And they were saying how worried they were about me. And it was just a beautiful experience. So thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. I mean, you're a really good moderator when you want to be. No, Ralph is great. Wait, did you I really meet do Donald Andy Trump? Worski. I want to go back to that if you can. I want to go to do. I want to do Andy Worski. You want to do Andy Worski? <laughs> no, he's not hot. Baby. He's not hot enough for me. I'm with one of the hottest guys in Malibu right now. I don't need Andy. So uh, I, 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 don't know, uh, Karen, I don't know about that. Gary Miller is not the most attractive man. <laughs> who? Gary Miller. You don't know who I'm with. Well, if you're at his fucking studio, I would assume he's somewhere around there. No, I'm not at his studio. What are you talking about? You said rock against trafficking, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, you guys Googled Gary. And, okay, yeah. Oh, oh everybody knows so, that. God, they're smart. Wait a second. They're smart. I'm not with Gary, though. I'm with Mac. Mac yeah, Daddy. Gary's, Gary's way too old for me. What? You guys oh, are really Herb. smart. I'll hey, be. hey, age doesn't matter, Corinne. What do you say? Yeah. God, you guys are like seriously smart. Gary, Gary Miller is eternal. He's everlasting, Corinne. No, he's not hot, honestly. He's a sweet guy, though. I don't care about him. I care about the other people in the studio. There's nobody else listed as a producer for this program. Hmm. There's nobody else besides Gary Miller listed as a producer for this Rock Against Trap. No, Traffic Gary's program. not here. I'm not with Gary. Oh. So what do you think you could do about uh, cyberbullying? Okay, so cyberbullying call... is the number one biggest problem facing it's... the United States of America and the world. But specifically, like women, older women. No, no, no. It's children. It's not. It's not because older women don't go on it. Yeah, but older women are always complaining about it. No, they're not. Who complains I mean, about cyberbullying? Only old women complain about cyberbullying. Um, I don't think that's true. Children. I have children. I'm stepchildren true. and adopted children, and they all complain about being cyberbullied. Their moms. And social media bullied. It's all their moms, like all it's their all moms, their moms. And old women, like old women who have too many cats, and their faces are all stretched out and fucked what up. What are you talking that's, about? I mean, that's Wait. just that's my as a Hollywood producer, that's my experience about who's complaining about cyberbullying. No, no, the kids are complaining about cyberbullying. What? Well, what kids are a young woman would not complain about cyberbullying? Oh she, yeah, they would. You know how many? Playing, uh, Three girls that I know have been cyberbullied by Ice Poseidon's group of idiots so far. What's that? What are you talking about? Um, I don't know. Ice Poseidon's how I started all this. I went to one of his streamer parties, and uh, he bullied three girls already. I mean, I don't know. I don't know these, like, obscure YouTube celebrities you, you're, you like, talking I'm about. I'm glad you're saying obscure. I like how you say that because I agree. I think he's an idiot, but he is kicking butt with YouTube. I'm just saying old women complain about him. cyberbullying. That's 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 like Hollywood ex experience. Like if you come okay. in talking about cyberbullying, I'm trying to change that. I don't want I don't want everyone to think that old women are, are complaining about cyberbullying. I want to make it young and new, and I want to know young to girls because what happens is guys will say you're fat, or guys will take your photo yeah. and then put you're a naked old, girl on it. And your chin, it's little like, kids. Skin is hanging off your chin, right? I have teenagers, and cyberbullying is a really big issue for them. Yeah, but they're young. I'm talking about you. Oh, me? I fight cyberbullies. I didn't even know it existed until April 18th. I had no idea. What happened on April 18th? On April 18th, I started dating a 23-year-old who's a live streamer. And Whoa. I had so much fun with him. And we almost had sex on stream. Oh. Like, we were having fun. And I had no idea what it was. And I started getting hundreds and hundreds of phone calls. Yeah. And people asking me to do pornography. Nice. And uh, How much would cyberbullying it take started. Pornography? How much would it take? How much money? To do what? Pornography. 
I would never do pornography. It's tacky, and I'm not tacky. What about, like, tasteful pornography? We, if, never do it. No interest. I'm going to have sex tonight, though, like, ten times, and you no, guys aren't. We're not Neither of you guys are going to have sex tonight. We're not I'm talking going about to, like, sex. Times. We're talking about art. Without yeah. condoms. Nudity has been a, a cornerstone of art since the Did you guys just hear what ages. I said? Yes. I said, I'm going to have sex ten times tonight with one of the hottest guys in the music industry, and you guys aren't. How hot is have sex at all. <laughs> well, I, I heard the other part where you, you didn't repeat it. Have you seen Harvey Weinstein's you. cock? <laughs> Never, but you know what? I have to tell you something. My girlfriends who did, did it because they wanted to, and they wanted to get into his parties. <laughs> and so You're I don't think right. that he is... I think there's something else going on because those girls did it because they wanted to. Yeah, so they I think know he's what's going lied on. About. I think they're lying about Harvey Weinstein. I think they all knew what they were doing, and they did it because they wanted to. Yeah, I think he we can all agree he did nothing anything. wrong. Yeah, he obviously didn't. Corinne, I, mean, I think his brother is trying to take over his company. Virginity to? Who I lost my virginity your to? Your song, the song you, the song you heard when you lost your virginity. Do you remember what it was? The song I heard when I lost my virginity. It's like a romantic kind of like getting over cyberbullying, empowering women. Do you remember the song that you, I lost my virginity? No, that's was no. it Beethoven's I lost my virginity on a beach, <laughs> so it was the ocean. I well, lost my what was the first song you heard after that? What? What was, was the blood first song you heard after that? What song did I listen to after that? I listened to yeah. the sound of the ocean. Do you think it's weird that you're supporting hashtag me too, but then you're defending Harvey Weinstein? Yeah, exactly. I'm not, hey, 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 I'm not defending Harvey at all. I'm saying the girls that I know from my personal Corinne experience wanted to do it with them to further their careers. So they were asking for it. Yeah. No, they agreed to it. They didn't do no, it they, without. They, yeah, they, they agreed. agreed to it. They were I asking for agreed. Harvey Weinstein. Like, yeah. What were they wearing when it happened? I didn't watch them do it, but I know the girls, oh. the girls that I know who got involved with him did it willingly. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Just like all of them did. Yeah, but I was never willingly, I never willingly agreed to be cyber bullied. I never agreed to have, be hacked. I never agreed to have Ice Poseidon yeah. and other people's pornography put on my channels. I it's have not disgusting. agreed to be cyber bullied. It's not funny. So I'm getting what you, death threats. Disgusting. What are you getting in exchange for sleeping with this producer 10 times tonight? Nothing. What? Why, what would I? What, what would I get in exchange? So you just do it for curious. publicity. Publicity. So you can get on what shows like these, these, these top-rated internet programs. I was just teasing you guys. Jeez. Corinne, they don't get. I was get. just saying my sex life is active. Mm. Yeah, my sex life is active. How active? With a capital A. I mean, a capital A and C, or just a capital A? <laughs> a capital A. Yeah, you know uh, what I'm talking about. Yeah, a capital STD is more like it. <laughs> Dude, there's no STDs, let me tell you that. I have the best doctor in Beverly Hills. You know what he says you use? Colloidal silver. What does that mean? <laughs> so now he's going to get rid of the, the world. <laughs> what? You're going to be blue. <laughs> Wait, what, Corinne? What did you say? You use colloidal, so I go to the best, most expensive doctor in Beverly Hills. He doesn't yeah. even take insurance. Yeah. And you buy $80 bottles of colloidal silver. Oh, this and is you'll amazing. never get an estimate. Colloidal silver? How often do you take colloidal silver? You put it inside of you and around you. <laughs> and you have sex. What do you mean? I can't hear these fucking, these savages are laughing. Uh, exactly. You buy an $80, it's, it's, and I'll give Ralph one for free, but he's married, so I doubt he cheats. Okay. But anyway. You know, you I've heard a lot about with. about oh. silver from Alex Jones. Do you happen to know yeah. Alex Jones, funny chance? I love Alex Jones. I want to fuck Alex Jones. He's hot. I like him. <laughs> what do you think's hot about him? I just, I love his charisma, baby. Charisma's number one. And number yeah. two is chill you know, factor, if you're chill and mellow. Who is you the guys most? know how hyper I am. Yeah, yeah Alex Jones is really mellow. <laughs> <laughs> no, I said his charisma. I said Alex's charisma turns me on, and the guy that I'm sitting next to right now turns me on because he's mellow and he can now is the guy this. next to you jealous that you want to fuck alex jones no he doesn't care do you care i want to fuck he doesn't care oh, no these fuck guys who don't care about you right. yeah that's my problem let's talk about that why do i wait i like this now why do i fuck guys who don't care about me hey you're so you're taking colloidal silver <laughs> okay so the key to not get an std is you buy yeah. large quantities of colloidal silver gel and uh -huh. you put it all over you and the the person you're having sex with where do you, and put you will it? not get an std where, where do you put, put it, it? Where do you put it? You put it in and out and all around. You have to put it on the guy's Where? dick, too? Maybe. Yeah, totally. Where in? Yep. Like, like spermicide gel, right? Yeah, exactly. Like uh, lubrication. Use colloidal silver gel as lubrication. You use what it as lubrication? Like? What? 
Do you what use it as it? lubrication? The, yeah, those... I use it as lubrication, but I don't. And need what does the gel taste like? My pussy drips. I don't need lubrication. <laughs> you have an infection? <laughs> <laughs> drips with blood? What? Only on my period. That's disgusting. Oh. Otherwise, I only have period sex. Is the thing, so I I got confused. <gasps> oh my god, that's so hot! You fuck your wife on her period. Uh, well, she's my sister, and I don't have a wife. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, dude. I like you. Whoever that is, that's funny. No, see, we can have fun. Let's have fun. The whole point for live streaming is to have fun, and it got nasty because I got bullied really bad. When did you get bullied? Well, since April 25th, when I started my first channel, uh -huh. it got hacked on May 2nd. Then my second channel got hacked on May 20th. Then my third channel got hacked on May 21st. So did I've been prom? bullied. Did you go to prom? Did you go to your prom, high school prom? I went to prom with my best girlfriends. We didn't go what with guys. We all rented a limo together. What was the song? What was the song? <laughs> Do you think I remember the song? But I'll I tell mean, you I remember thing. the song. It was like, I get knocked down, but I get up again. That was the song of my prom. You don't remember any of the songs at your prom? No, I don't remember any because I don't even care about that. But what I care about is this. Our homecoming queen, I was the graduation speaker, and our homecoming queen was murdered by a security guard. She was raped and murdered right what before her what song we did graduated. Do you remember? What song played at her funeral? Yeah, what song? What oh song? my God, babe, come on. Amazing Where, Grace. This is, music, this is a music podcast. We want to know. Oh, you're talking about music now? Yeah, yeah. it's music. Okay, we talk love to me, music. Tell me about it's all music. about like cool life music. is all about music. That's why we music. called you at the recording studio. You're playing the rock agents of uh, traffic, anti-trafficking who rape kids. We're talking about what song was played at your graduation or your prom or the first time you lost your virginity. That's what we want to know. Okay, well, at my graduation, I played the song because I said the speech. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so I played the song. There was no song except our band and my speech, which was about the fact that you choose what happens to you in life and you don't. Yeah, what was the song? You did, nobody chooses to get raped and murdered. There was no song at my graduation. God you want to know about music? What, what questions? Yeah. I just went to uh, the U2 concert last week. Um, this weekend, I went to the War concert, VIP backstage only, of course. How old were you when Elvis died? <laughs> I wasn't alive, dude. Come on. You weren't That's alive when alive? Elvis died? What are you talking you about? Even... This is a serious biopic. We're talking about Elvis. Can we talk about Axl Rose for a second? Yeah, how old were you when, El when Axl Rose died? Axl Rose is alive. How old were you when Axl Rose was born? <laughs> Do you think I know, but I'll tell you, I met Axel. Axel his manager. Martin. Let me tell you about Axel. Axel had the greatest manager. His name is Tom Zutaf. Yeah. And uh, Axel made a really big mistake when he broke with his manager. Yeah. And uh, Axel's being managed by his ex-girlfriend's maid right now. But Axel did not, did not write a song. He hasn't written a new song for like 25 years. Oh, he man. has 10 songs that are kick-ass cool. Mm -hmm. And he is 56 years old, jumping around the stage. And I'm proud of him. He made a Same comeback. Same hard in theaters? What? Did you see Star Wars in theaters? No, I don't go to movie theaters ever. Never? You've never been to a movie theater? I've been, but I avoid movie theaters. Somebody uh, in the chat said the, the song at the prom was performed live by Mozart. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> so, just out of curiosity, you said yes. you, you have kids, right? Like, I have what are children, they stepchildren, have kids? adopted children, and you yeah. guys. Yeah. Do your yes, kids know that you're fucking 23-year-olds? Um, I, 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 did, I did confess. I always tell the truth. Oh. Well, but listen, I saw him. Right I saw like, him last at? night. Listen, you guys, be proud of me. I saw him last night, and I had the courage and strength to walk away. Who? You saw who? I saw the 23-year-old last night, and I walked away from him. How's that courageous? Courageous would be going over and, and sucking his cock. But... <laughs> no, but at 10.15 a.m. this morning, he said, come fuck me, and I said, no, I'm done with you. Ah, that's Because I like men who treat away. me like shit. Why do I like men who don't care about me? Because you don't deserve to be cared about. Aw, everyone deserves to be cared about. Nah, they don't. Does your really, you think there's certain people who don't deserve to be cared about? Shouldn't you be yeah, more like... concerned about your kids caring about you than what some fucking random men think? No, I'm not concerned about that at all because they love me forever <laughs> and always. All my children love me. How many do you have? I have children, stepchildren, adopted How, children, a and number. boys. Can you count? I have how, many, many. How many? How many? <laughs> so yeah. many. Have you fucked any of the stepchildren? 
<laughs> no, I would never do that. Actually, okay, honestly, once I almost did. Oh, oh no. <laughs> okay. Now, how old was he? Was he the 23 year old? He's really famous. He's at no, he's at 28, and I did want to fuck him, but I didn't. Oh, you like, bringing guys younger than your kids then? Because oh, I was fuck- he was older than my kids. My kids are cool. teenagers. Yeah, that's cool. But he's 28, and I was fucking his dad, and I wanted to fuck him, but I didn't do it. I Why controlled not? myself. I do have control. Yeah, why not? You should have. Yeah. Why not? You should have. But listen, you're all born from sex, so why is sex the bad thing? It's not. It's we're not. We're all it's all born thing. from the act of sex. Yeah, you should have fucked him. Yeah, you no, should have fucked him. If the you're shit born up. from sex, then why is sex the bad thing? I'm single. I'm, I'm not married. I'm never getting married. I've never been married. No I don't have to be married. Did you say your, your husband's or ex husband's kids that you were looking at? I don't have any ex husband's. How never do you been have stepchildren children if you've never been married? I will never get married. I don't believe in marriage. But you have to you have to be married to somebody to have stepchildren. No, you yeah. don't. They adopt me because they love me. I've got tons of stepchildren. Your stepchildren Cassandra. adopted you? Adopted yeah, kids are they love, adopted. Every day girls come up to me and say, Will you be my second mommy? What the they fuck are you cool. talking about? <laughs> Is this at the brothel? Is this a cult? Yeah, it's, yeah. There's really a brothel in LA. There's definitely no brothel in Los Angeles. The cult Angeles. of Corinne? Wait a minute. <laughs> Corinne, there's tons of brothels in Los Angeles. Okay, is there a brothel? No, sorry. You guys yes, are so are. wrong. The girls in LA are so open. They'll, they'll do whatever they want without anything. You don't need a brothel in LA. All of LA is a brothel. Well, no, the smart girls will charge for it. I mean, whores will give it away. There's no whores in Los Angeles. Everybody does it for free here. <laughs> uh, how long have you lived here? Uh, my whole life, people. People. Well, do what's your whole life? Here. I've lived here since 1954. How long have you lived here? Dude, you're not that old. Yeah, I'm very fucking old. How long you gotta? I mean, where do you how live exactly? You making X Men movies and producing Doctor Phil every day. You produce Doctor Phil every day. Yeah, yeah. Do you know how many times I've been asked to be on Doctor Phil and I said no? Um, I would know. Let me check my records. <laughs> check your records. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about? How long have you lived in L.A.? Do you remember the big quake? Um, actually, I was in college when that happened. I think so. Yes. You were in college when the 70. <clears throat> no, this is like the 90s. You were in college. In when the... Santa Monica and San Vicente was the biggest quake I've been in. OK, so you were born in 72. I was born. Yeah. About that time. Yes. Huh. Why does it matter? Um, it, it doesn't. Age doesn't matter. I had a 30 minute conversation trying to figure out your fucking... I, I win. Price is right, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she's like 48. All right. Well, no, I'm not 48. That's so lame. Come on. 49. 49? No. Nope. You guys are really bad at math. I'm really worried about you. <laughs> How old are you, Ralph? That fake, fake laugh makes us Ralph, seem like Ralph my is Ralph is 30, my la- you 32. You don't like my laugh? It's sweet. Ralph, how old are you? Ralph is 32. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Ralph's not here anymore. He hung himself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it might not be far from the truth, to be honest. Who am I talking to? Uh, this is oh, my, name's, my name's Bob. Bob, okay. And I'm Zidane. Okay, Bob. Hey. Anything else you want to know? My Anything name's Asterios. Cool? Anything super cool? Well, somebody I wants to know talk- what it was like taking Napoleon's virginity. <laughs> That's like the stupidest thing I've ever heard. That's like dumb. Give me something. What good. you don't? You, you don't fuck short guys? <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with Hitler. short guys? Why give me Napoleon? Napoleon Dynamite was a yeah, great Dynamite. film. <laughs> she doesn't watch movies. Remember, she doesn't. She doesn't watch. Oh, that, watch that's right. That's very right. Very rarely, because my life. What do you like bad, about? Friends, what do you like about this band that you're um, in there um, entertaining? Baby, I'm not with one band. I'm in a studio where many bands record. I mean, what do you like about all these? servicing all these bands i guess then i don't know what, what do you think? What do you Serv- like? i don't service any bands i can barely service myself <laughs> <laughs> how do i don't service a band uh, yeah no that makes sense i'm yeah, listening to my colonial silver <laughs> no, <yeah. laughs> corinne do you know the side effects of colonial silver yeah tell me what they are let's hear what you think you're uh, super empowered if you're a woman <laughs> extra tough and you become empowered beyond all possible dreams I think I should make the Corinne colloidal silver strawberry gel so it tastes You should. It tastes Good. Disgusting. I'll sell it for you. I will <laughs> buy it. I will buy some from you if you do. I'm going to make some condoms called Corinne Forever condoms cuz condoms yeah. suck. <laughs> I mean, will, will they just be empty packages cuz condoms are bullshit? <laughs> yeah. I like that. That's funny. <laughs> 
Honestly, if you're gonna have sex, you might as well just risk everything. I don't it, believe oh in my God. That's, <laughs> that. Hey, that's a good that's a good stance to have. You should teach have teenage, sex, uh, stepchildren that. Yeah. Yes, if you're gonna go, we, listen. We need as many children as possible in the United States of America. Children. Why is that? Right. We White have to children. That with yeah. Because the United States is not growing. We're declining. We don't have kids well, anymore. No, We're, our population is going up. Mm -hmm. but it, Ralph, it's mostly, it's mostly the wife. blacks and Latinos. We need more white kids, right? I wouldn't we say to build like that. that. I'd say people like Ralph need to have 10 kids. Ralph and his wife need to have 10 kids. That's, he needs to get on it. I mean, I, I agree. <laughs> get I like on it, Ralph. That might be where he's at right now, actually. Yeah, hey, that's <laughs> Give him donations. Ralph needs to make money to have kids. It's I like don't... 25 grand a month per kid. I've got to say, Corinne, you have a real positive attitude about uh, unsafe sex. I like it. I really believe in sex. You're born from the act of sex. I believe in it. But I also believe that you have to have mental capacity. I also believe in your physical, your diet, your exercise. When you go out for breakfast, do you ever get a blue waffle? I never eat breakfast because I never. I don't wake up before 12 noon. Really? Really. Ever? Ever. Why? To rest? I don't. I don't wake up before twelve noon. I don't have to. Well, I mean, you don't have to, but that's. It's... Can we Nothing talk to the guy next to you instead? Six a.m. Yeah. and twelve noon. Yeah, I want. I want a shout out. And what do you want? You want, want to talk? Shout to, out. You want to talk to Mac Daddy next to you? Yeah, okay, put him Mac on. Daddy, put him on. What's up? Hey, Mac Daddy. What's up, man? What's happening? How you doing? We're happy to talk to you. Yeah, yeah, I'm doing good. How about yourself? Very good. Are you a music guy? And by what? Yeah, I'm a music guy. guy. Corinne's been talking about you guys are doing like a charity for trafficking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. How did you, how did uh, how did Corinne get hooked up with this thing? How did you guys get hooked up together? Oh, I don't know. I think we met at a bar or something. You met at a bar in Malibu. Mm-hmm. Yeah. How's it? How's it? How's it going? You think she's a, th a sure thing? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, I think yeah. I th yeah. Yeah, I think. What instrument does she play? The skin flute. Uh, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 man, we love, we love her. What you want to call back and like talk about the experience with her afterwards? That'd be pretty. Yeah, fun. sure. Yeah. All right. I'll share the, the nitty gritty. Yeah, yeah. I think. Let us know if your dick turns blue. <laughs> <laughs> blue water. Hey, Watch hey, out that colonial silver. Mac, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Fucking, she's not on birth control. Fucking be careful. You know what I mean? Wear a condom. Yeah, I, I got you. Boo -boo. Yeah, you know what I mean. You know what you're dealing with. Yeah. All right. Can yeah. you give them a phone number? Hmm? I give them your phone number. You do. No, no. Well, no, give them your phone number that he can call for, or, or an email address. It was 8675309, I thought. <laughs> <laughs> We'll, hey, we'll what, probably just how, we'll log back onto here. So, how can I how can I hit you? Give me your give me your email. I can hit you up to see the, the nitty gritty. I want to know the All nitty. Right. Gritty. It's it's I rock against trafficking at Gmail. I rock against trafficking. Okay. Okay. Expect an email from the Dick Show at Gmail, right? Yeah, the Dick Show. Yeah, we when want. When are you guys gonna give me Joshua from Kiwi Farms? He's we're trying here. to we're trying to get him. But the hard man to find. The hard man to find. He's, he's scared at, uh, of me now. He is oh, scared. Is he really? He's at so many glory holes and, and <laughs> truck stops, blowing guys. I mean, it's he called me gross. Like that's just yeah. tacky. He it called me gross. Yeah, I mean, that's Matt liable. Daddy, that's tacky. It sucks. At to least call be him. a journalist and say something respectful. At like least what? say something that's not the word gross. I mean, he has a low IQ. That's his, yeah, that's his problem. But, like, that's who he entertains, people with low IQs. Um, he doesn't entertain anyone because no one reads his stuff. He's got, like, almost zero subscribers. No, he has zillions of subscribers. That, no, Joshua zero. Joshua has subscribers that are all, they're all stupid. They're all low. I want Andy Worski. Can you get me Andy Worski? Yeah, he's, uh, we have him right here. Really? This guy sounds like yeah. Joe Rogan. Yeah. Joe Rogan. We want Joe Rogan. Andy, are you there? Andy. Andy, if you're here, here. give me a fuck yeah. I don't fuck know. You guys yeah. tease me all See? the time. We don't know if He's it's here. Andy. We've got Sargon of Akkad. Yeah, you want to talk to no, Sargon? No, I don't need Sargon. DJ thinks he's Sargon of Akkad. That's stupid. <sighs> I want I want to threaten Kiwi Farms again. <laughs> I'll do it. 
this. I want to bully right Kiwi Farms. I think so. I don't. Wait, you want to bully somebody? I thought you were anti. Yeah, I want to bully Kiwi Farms because the, they need to see what it feels like the, to the get sued for everything they bully own. People. Oh, She's a Corinne, bully hunter. You to, uh, yeah, you need to name the bully. Name the bully, Corinne. Kiwi Farms, Joshua something. Yeah, we need to name and shame him. That's what we got to do. I'm not shaming anyone. I'm just saying that you should you shame bullies, Corinne. You, That's just what said, you should. You just said that they're all low IQ. You should shame. Oh my God, think you've been slut shaming yourself all night. Wait, I think we tried to make the video work. What do we do now? You just gotta flip it around. Oh my God, we flipped it. Uh oh. Oh my God, we're making the video work. Oh my God, we did it. Oh, there we go. Hey, let's see okay. your kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is that a casting doing. couch? <laughs> yeah, it's a casting couch. Like, I really want to be a singer. I would never do that. I would never do that. Look. Just one. Just a little bit. What yeah, is it? Yeah, one dot. It's the bottom not... one. It we need like... wine to deal with you guys. No, I love... Let's talk what to Andy mean? Wardsky. Yeah, well, okay, let's get him. Andy, are you there? Andy. Joe Rogan. Fuck yeah. Oh, hey, there, there, Andy's there. What's up? I'm Andy Worski. What's up? I don't know. Is that the real Andy Worski? Yeah, it's though? Andy. I don't know. You guys all tease me. <laughs> no, no, no. It's Andy. What do you want? What do you want? Anyway, You're alive. I like, I like watching you, Andy. I think you got the coolest show. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. What I do you like about it? You. At least you don't bully people. No, I hate bullying. What do you think about Ice Poseidon? I, I love uh, whatever. What do you think? I mean, I'm nothing. I think he's stupid. Yeah, me too. I don't think this is Andy. It is. It's 100% Andy. Andy says so many bad words. Andy, you're such a gentleman. Like, I like you. I'm proud of you. I like, fucking you're... hate. I fuck cock. I fucking, uh, fucking hate Ice Poseidon. Love him. No, Ice Poseidon's boring. Honestly, he bores me. I yeah, want to do a too. really, really, I want to do really cool stuff. I think his stuff is getting really boring. I think that it was cool in the beginning and then it got really dull. Yeah. But I don't know. I love you guys and I think that it's really important to uh, just keep on talking. Keep the dialogue right. going. Let's go. Okay. This guy, this guy's got to get a reward. Get, get rid of her. This guy's got a reward? No, no, no. I'm talking about something else. What are you talking about? Um, I'm, reading, I'm reading my text messages. Give me a shout out. David from Canada. Why would he want a shout out? Can you give me your number so I can text you after the show? Yeah, 917-287-1314. I let everybody call me all the time. Oh, cool. That's fun. Who said I drink box wine? I didn't even know what <laughs> <laughs> Today, who has three kids? Uh, she adopted all three. Two of them she adopted on her own. She was one of the most beautiful celebrities in the world, and she's about 65 now. Who is this person? She's not married. I can't say. But I'm is it you? you? How old is she? No, what? She's like 65 now. She, she yeah, is it you? She made some of the greatest movies in the world, okay? And, uh, probably not you then. No, I've never been in a movie. I'm not an actress. My mom's an actress. Who's um, your mom? I would never tell you because I don't want Kiwi Farm to torture her. Has she was she Norma Desmond? <laughs> no, no. Well, you get that reference. I don't know who's Norma Desmond. Do we know? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. No, you got that reference. You got it. <laughs> Norma Desmond. You know what that was right away. <laughs> Thank you, Medicare. Norma Desmond. Uh, look at her. Know what you guys are talking about? Look at her backtrack on that one. That's that Boulevard bitch. <laughs> Desmond is. Me either. Oh, we're playing a song for you guys. Is um, anything this copyright struck? Anyway, that's Andy Worski's too hyper. He's not on. And, and, well, Corinne, I mean, who who's that little boy at the console? He's the boy. He's he's only. How old are you? Twenty one. He's twenty one. Are you gonna oh. fuck him? Gonna I, fuck I, him? I thought you said. I thought you said that you were gonna do that. I can fuck anyone I want to fuck. You said you, you you found the strength to get away from a 23 year old. Yeah, that was Ice Poseidon's show, guys. Oh, okay. can you don't have right to drink. I don't think so. He looks pretty young. <laughs> Corinne, it's dangerous to walk around like you are. Your pussy, you said, was dripping wet. You might slip. <laughs> oh, I agree with you. My pussy drips. You're right. God. That room must smell terrible. I tell you what I call my pussy? 
what Niagara Falls. <laughs> I'll tell you because I don't Honor? care. My pussy's name is Butterfly. Why? Does it have Beautiful. like the lips that go way out? And then I fly away. See, what? I heard a different. I heard a different nickname for your pussy. People called it roast beef. Can you confirm? <laughs> yeah, definitely, Andy Wolf. You're someone rude, honestly. It's got to be the rudest person, but I heard there's second here yeah. somewhere. I want to see him. I'm trying to think of a joke, but I can't think of any foods that are blue. Blue? That's dumb. I don't even know how to respond to that. Stupid. Colloidal silver dyes your skin. It does. It, makes no, it blue. It you got a blue doesn't. waffle down there. No, it does. yeah. <laughs> blue waffle. <laughs> what do you think is the most important topic we should talk about? Blue waffle. You okay, leaving. I don't know what a blue waffle is. Look down. <laughs> <laughs> well, how do, what do I say to come back to that? You guys are just so sexually deprived. That's all you can do is tease other people. <laughs> we're all having fuck each other. Unless we're having sex right now. <laughs> when was the last time you had sex? Right now. We're yeah. currently all having sex with hot women. With this young is, women. This is so good of a card. I'm actually watching my wife right now. <laughs> Oh my god, what planet are you from? I like that. He's Sogol of a cod. I mean, this is just so psycho. So, it's, a, it's, it's a screen name. I'm, I'm actually, my real name is Carl. I want Joe Rogan. I want... Well, we got Sargon of a cod. I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually good friends with, uh, with Mr. Rogan. I could, I could put in a good word for you. Okay, you guys, we're about to have sex. I think I have to go now. With a child? <laughs> yeah. I, 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 would, I would like to watch if, if possible. I know, but then the channel is lost. None of us want to risk that. None of us want to risk that. Sorry. There, there's plenty of risk already. We understand. This is like, this, this is like the beginning of my channel. I, hey, buddy. I always, uh, if you can hear us, you got to get, get tested really tomorrow, right? Sex, and then I have to go. Yeah, keep showing that guy. He looks like Rucka if he was a little bit yeah, older. Yeah, be sure to tell him not to drink the boxed wine. It's roofied. <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Where would you? Wait. Oh, my God. Fuck, yeah. Wait, where would you get a roofie from? Uh, go to the bar. And no, that's you fucking based. What? <laughs> what did they say? <laughs> that's how they make money. So they people pay 5 to $7. And they, oh my god, he's turning me on, you guys. I'll have to go. I'm gonna go have a oh, Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. Good luck. Godspeed. Anything else you want to say? Uh, no. Tell him I'll shoot him an email to find out how it went. Uh, and, and tell him to get tested tomorrow. <laughs> you guys are so in the men. Like, you don't even care about women. I should be on your show more because you need to, like, really, really, really start. Well, we all, we all love sex. dick here. <laughs> I'm just gay in some ways. Who's Andy Worski? I want Andy. Hey, what's up? I'm Andy. I Andy know Worski. it's time. You're in New York, right? Yeah. I'm I in love New, York. New York. All day, every day. I love New York, too. New York didn't love you. And listen, you're a cool cat. Like, God bless you, peace. Like, I know you say a lot of bad words, but I don't care. You're cool. Fuck. I like you. Titty. And I want Joe Rogan. I, mean, I, I, I could work on, on speaking Joe to Mr. Rogan, Rogan on your behalf. <laughs> I'll do it myself. I don't need your help. <laughs> <laughs> but I do want Kiwi Farms to know... That it's rude to call me gross. I mean, what do I say to that, Mac Daddy? Kiwi Farms called me gross. I mean, what, what's the right Wait, that? Is, is that old? Uh, wait a minute. Is that old white dude named Mac Daddy? Yeah. There's no old white dude here. He's black. <laughs> we, we literally <laughs> <Yeah>. saw him. <laughs> yeah, he's black. No, he's black. Roseanne committed a hate crime against him on Twitter. <laughs> wait, he, he's, he's black? That dude right there that you sat on? <laughs> He's the, the, white guy, the, the white toll. guy you sat on I is black? Brain. That dude is... That guy's black? Okay. Yeah, he's black. This is as black as I go. <laughs> what does that mean? Shout out oh. to Floyd Mayweather. I want to fuck Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> I thought that's as black as Would you, you go. Would you still fuck me if I was fucking Floyd Mayweather? No, like the same week. If I, if I Ask him if you would watch. <laughs> would you? Hey, hey, would you watch? Would you watch her fuck Floyd, no, Ma Floyd Mayweather? You sit in the corner? I told you I just fuck Floyd Mayweather. <laughs> would you throw nickels at her face while she gets fucked by Floyd Mayweather? <laughs> oh, you guys, I'm so demeaning. Can you think of something else exciting? Can we think of something really fun? Let's do something really fun. How many boxes of wine would you have to drink to fuck Floyd Mayweather? Baby, I don't even know how to drink boxed wine. I'm drinking Robert Mondavi. Why did you put boxed wine in a bottle? <laughs> what does that mean? What's boxed wine? Half your jokes I don't even understand because they're so stupid. What's boxed Would you let wine? Floyd Mayweather punch you in the face? <laughs> no, I wouldn't actually. That's actually very serious. What I'm if he was going to give you like a, a role or a job? 
a role or a job. Oh, man, his strip club. I would love to be a stripper employed man. Oh, uh, he club. would love it too. Would you let him choke or choke you with his belt? With his belt or his hand? Belt. His belt. belt. I don't think so. No. Oh, come on. But this is the deal. Can belt. I tell you what? Can I tell you guys why I really didn't fuck Floyd? You want to know why? Wait, what do you mean you really you had the opportunity to fuck Floyd? Of course. Floyd? Of course. Is it because he's too poor? Do you want to know why I didn't? Why, of course? Because he's I'm black. Tell you. <laughs> no. Why? Why did you have the white? I went to a party at his place because he's the type of guy who would try to do it in the back, and I won't do that. I'll never. It's disgusting. You've never done anal. What the never. fuck is wrong with you? You, you just said capital that. A earlier. Don't cock this do us. That. You did. Totally tacky. She and doesn't want a blue guy. butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Half your jokes, I don't even understand. They're so stupid. You will, you will in a little bit when uh, when stuff starts turning blue. Don't worry. Okay, You'll be shitting blue. Chat, he's actually gonna have sex tonight. Let's talk about that. Who's gonna have sex tonight? Yeah, out of all the guys in the chat, who's actually gonna have sex tonight? There's no, Corinne. There's no way you're gonna have sex tonight. <laughs> really? Okay, why not? Yeah, Probably don't right. hit us. For, first of all, okay, there's. Okay. No, no one, there's, there's no one there who would, who would want to throw down with you right now. You, you, you guys are stupid. Next, give me more. Oh well, Corinne, I don't think uh, Sean King there wants to fuck a chick that drinks lots of wine. Sean King, what are they saying? <laughs> oh my God, you're so smart. You're so wise. You love it the more you degrade and demean me. Is that Talco Mex that you met at the bar? What? Is that Talco Mex? I don't know what that means. I have your guys' jokes. I don't even know what you're talking about, honestly. No. Sorry, I'm generation. It makes it hard to make fun of you. <laughs> what? It makes it hard to make fun of you when you what can't understand half the same. Yeah. I mean, half your jokes are totally stupid. Are you gonna fuck that guy in front of that little kid? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think there's any little kid here. And I, the one I was never... the... just saw him. Is yeah, the one sitting topic. right there. No child pornography ever. No child left behind. <laughs> we all get to watch. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to hear me play the drums? No, <laughs> I really don't. Want me to sing you a song? Yeah. Oh, yes. Want me to sing you guys a lullaby? Because it's time for all little boys to go to sleep. Mommy Please. says, mommy rules. Uh, that's... It's time for little boys to go to sleep or you get oh. Oh, Mommy or grandma? <laughs> that's my grandma. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Nana, please grandma. sing us a song. How come no one cares if my hair is short or long? Because no one's looking at you. Ooh. Because you have the hairline of my grandpa. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you guys, I'm not going to be degraded and humiliated if you if I don't know what you're talking about. Honestly. Unless we own a music studio. Know. How do you not know what a receding hairline is? <laughs> um, I've never had one, and no one I know has them. I don't know what you're talking about. Look up. That's, that's not a problem in L.A. The light glaring off your forehead is blinding the camera. You can't see past a oh, giant nothing. forehead. Catch your reflection in your wine glass, Corinne. Look, there's nothing going on. Yeah, there's Have no hair up there. That's yes, the that's right. Point. That's the Have point. Have you considered cosplaying a Sakura from Naruto? Maybe she doesn't know what the fucking Naruto is. See, that's a deep None cut. of us understand what you're saying. It's Nana, really sing us a Talk song. This, what happened to the song? Topics, sing us I a song. Me. Sing us Amazing Grace. <laughs> Wait, are you, you going to put on a nice, uh, like, a strip show for this guy you're hanging out with? Uh, I do tits, when Brett. I'm with the man. I do whatever he tells me to do. I love to be dominated. Oh, I'll ask him to show your tits, then. Ask the guy <laughs> to show your tits. Yeah, tell him that. We'll get kicked off that. YouTube. Why would I do no, that? No, we won't. It's no, totally fine. on YouTube. No, Ralph will kick your ass. We're not doing that. Ralph killed himself. It's cool. Real <laughs> freak. <laughs> <laughs> Ralph, I know you're intensity. Hey, I wonder if you can OD on colloidal silver. Ah, uh, no. Your no, pussy just, probably you will. just gotta keep shoving it in. Yeah. My pussy is so yummy, you'll never have a chance oh, to even oh eat Oh, God, no. I don't like blueberries. <laughs> no, no, nobody wants to eat Arby's, okay? Do <laughs> 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 I want to the see the implant reason, jobs. Pull them out. The only reason why I make jokes about sex is because sex is really important. We're all born from sex, and we all should appreciate sex. Yeah, I think we're... I heard that one somewhere. If this guy doesn't get your tits out, he is a pussy. Yeah. Ew. How am I still awake? I don't understand. Oh, God, he's back from the dead. Oh, yeah. He rises. You found out there were going to be some tits? 
Oh my god. Nudity, Ralph. What is happening? What is happening? <laughs> Ralph gets no nudity. It's over! He's dead. Don't worry about it. Oh my god. Corinne's I been love Andy Worski. I love you, Andy. I think you're the coolest cat ever. Yeah, yeah Ralph, she's very know. appreciative. All right. Yeah. Uh, uh, you brought Andy Worski on here. <laughs> Mr. Minotaur, whatever the guy's uh, name is, because he can't even say his real name. I mean, anyone who doesn't his real name. real name shouldn't even be on I. I yeah, I that Mr. Minotaur guy's a faggot. I agree with you. He's not even a faggot. I like faggots. I like faggots. All my brothers. Is that are. why you're hanging out with one at the music studio? <laughs> <laughs> Cause this guy can't pull any titties out. He's probably gay. Oh, I'm gonna look guys, Ralph is gonna get kicked off if you guys show any nudity. I don't care. Don't oh no. You wanna get Ralph show kicked off? Sure. I'm bit. not on. It's Ralph. I don't I mean, care. Do it. Someone would have to prove that those are titties to get him kicked off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, every time I get porn on my channel, it gets kicked off three times. Oh. I thought you don't do porn. Oh, so you have to have I, connections with YouTube. Okay, like I do. This and... is, ooh, the truth comes out at night. Okay, listen, you guys don't listen. Someone put Ice Poseidon's porn on my channel, and then uh, DJ put his private parts you, on my yeah. channel. Yeah, because they don't want me to have a YouTube channel. All right, yeah. Because I kick butt. So these tits, are we talking about like pepperoni or salami? I don't know what that means. They're like two sides. The JF get a so I'm also here. interested in this conversation. It is, it is so oh, hot Oh, JF's here. here. You know JF? Hey, JF. How are you guys doing tonight? <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Sounds like you're in Beverly Hills now. Corinne, yeah. Corinne, that's that's JF Gierpi, that's Andy Worski's uh, co-host. Yeah. How, how, like how are you? How are you doing Beverly tonight, Hills. Karen? I'm not into the foreign thing, and I live in Beverly Hills. I don't need to listen. He's to not foreign. Thing. He's Canadian. It doesn't count. I, I'm I'm a French Canadian. I, I live in in. in <laughs> but I will not I will not mention where I live. But it, it is it is I'm north of the border. I'm sitting on my daddy's lap now, and we're gonna have sex, so I have to go. Oh, thank God! Wow, uh, buddy, can, can, get can, tested can, can tomorrow. Ralph, can Ralph? moderator and set me up with this um kiwi fall yeah we got cereal. you we'll set you up we'll set okay, you so up good this, this is so good gonna be cold again I, I would like to if if possible i would like to watch <laughs> show your tits and we'll hook you up with the kiwi farms guy Good back here, Pull it down. Just, Pull it down. This come thing on. literally looks There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Ralph, come on. Ralph, you're gonna get kicked off. Oh, Ralph, God. You're gonna get kicked off. Go away. Ralph, you're going to get kicked off. Are your guys' hairlines having a race to the back of your head? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, that's correct. Ah, I don't want to throw up. <laughs> you want to throw up? She puts colonial silver in her vagina. What the fuck? <laughs> <coughs> oh, boy. That guy is... I hope they save some box wine because he's going to want to dunk his nuts in it after he's done with it. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to He's gonna wake up. His dick's going to be bright blue. He's going to run to the clinic first thing. <laughs> Not in a way that happened. Oh, my God. What the fuck? <laughs> what earth? I love it. What earthquake were you around for? The big one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Holy oh. shit! Which one? Seventies or nineties? Uh, uh, the big one. <laughs> She's so dumb. You, you got it out of her. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. Set up the camera and let's watch. Ralph, you missed. Uh, you missed. Uh... I was halfway passed out. Uh, uh, yeah, you missed. You missed something. Yeah. The way uh, of describing it. Oof. Uh, the best show Ralph's ever done. And he wasn't I can, here for it. I could <laughs> still kind of hear what was going on, and then like, I, oh, she woke me. Put your hand <laughs> in your mouth, Corinne. Put your hand in your mouth. Oh God, we all blocked her. Are you still oh, watching her? Swallow, <laughs> swallow still your here? fist, Corinne. No, no, the whole thing. The whole, all four fingers. All four fingers. Oh, now I want to see this. How do I undo this? Yeah, hold on. <laughs> Wait, why'd you guys all block the camera? I'm watching this shit. Uh, uh, is, is I'm blocked. I blocked her, actually, to be honest. Yeah. Open open your teeth all the way and put all four fingers in your mouth. <laughs> or just I'm take out your dentures and just go I'm to town. I'm missing something great. <laughs> put them in there. Put them in there. Put your fingers in your mouth. All four fingers in your mouth. Open your mouth all the way. Yeah. Oh, holy shit. I'm leaving yeah. and coming back in to watch this. <laughs> God damn it. I blocked her too. Will that actually work? Do you take out your teeth when you give a blowjob too? Oh, no. I can't. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me refresh. <laughs> I, unblock. I can't unblock. 
Oh, man. Why haven't you hung up yet? Who? They're coming back. That's what they said. Where'd those guys go? They said they're coming back. Uh, okay. They might not be able to get back in because they have... Uh, oh, they were blocked. <laughs> uh, you better. Uh, no, uh, Josh, you came. You left and came back in. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here. So it should be all right. Maybe they can go. Right, open, your, open your mouth as wide as you can. Is she actually doing that? Open, it, open your mouth as wide as you can. Open your mouth. Open your mouth as wide as you can. <laughs> open. open. Consider open. this your audition for Doctor Phil. All the way. This is your audition. Open your mouth all the way. This poor guy is getting casting, act, casting an action man movie. I need to know that you could be a, a reptile lady. That's 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 <laughs> that's it. Oh, they can't get back in because they blocked her. Open, hey, Corinne, Corinne, open your mouth all the way. Her. Open your I mouth. I want to see your molars. Open your mouth as wide as you can. Just as wide as you mouth, can. As wide as you can. Oh my God. Yeah, but wider, wider. Spit that You're gum. You're gonna ruin that microphone with the gum. Put that gum in your hair. Put the gum in your hair. <laughs> 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 Uh, the uh, chat just missed her deep throating a microphone because you <laughs> retards blocked her. All these retards blocked you so that they couldn't see what was going on. Uh, the no. chat's missing out. Yeah, I can't see it. I'm a lot of unblocker. Corinne, you tried to sink me. What the fuck? You tried to sink this stream. No one else can hear or see her, though. I can't see her because we blocked all the locked her. Well, I joined on the back of account, so I can hear her. I can... Okay, what is she? What is she doing? She Friend, said talk she would without, talk, talk with your mouth open. Hold your mouth open all the way and talk. Then fucking then go. Up. Go suck a dick. What are you waiting uh, for? I don't care. I want to see all blue right. tonsils when you're done. All right. <laughs> Yeah, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out, Karen. Go, go have fun. We'll talk take to you. A, soon. Take a... No, it's Karen. Take a picture of that guy's right, ball. We'll put you in our movie. All right, thank you. Please hang on, owner. Good night. <laughs> I love you too. Good night, Karen. Good night, Karen. Good night. All right. Good night. At what point do you think that guy realized he had made a mistake? <laughs> 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 that guy's getting laid. I, yeah, that guy seems as crazy yeah. as she is. <laughs> yeah. No, he's drunk or something. There's something. By the way, it must be Jim probably couldn't join back because I wouldn't let me join back. I had to switch accounts to actually get back into the hangout. Wow. Get back in now because she's left. <sighs> yeah, there, there, he is. Is. there he is. There he is. There he is. I need your mic. Gator, did you did you see what she was doing? Uh, I did see what she, she was, was shoving a fist it? down her throat. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me you recorded that. I recorded that whole fucking thing. Yeah, Good. fantastic. <laughs> because when, since we blocked her, I couldn't unblock her because she was pulling out her. You know, can't have her tits show. She up didn't on the show anything. No, no, but when Ralph no. he tried, her, he, he, he he tried, and I thank him for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she. It looked like it was getting X-rated there, so I just blocked her. And then I blocked her too. But I I, yeah, I didn't realize it kicked you out. Like you can't get back nah, in. Nah, well, I didn't realize just, it either. Yeah. I finally I just switched the, to the, my backup account. Yeah, no, I saw I saw you block her, and I thought, oh, maybe you can't kick her, so. And I blocked her too, and then all of a sudden she's shoving shit in her mouth, and I'm like, <laughs> fuck, <what's laughs> but Gator got the footage, so. <laughs> No, wait, did, Gator, yeah. wait, was she actually doing that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah no, she she, <laughs> she deep throated her microphone on camera. Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> G Gator got the footage, so we can put it up somewhere. Uh Corinne gone wild. If you need a place to host it, just let me know. Alright. Just throwing that out there. <sighs> I don't know, Kiwi guys. Farms gets the exclusive. What uh <laughs> what what was your favorite moment? I think for me it was her saying we're a me too generation and then <laughs> Those girls were asking for it. Was it great? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she did say that. Uh, the colloidal silver part. That's pretty fucking funny, yeah. The did fact she that say she... she was sticking colloidal silver? Yeah, he uses it as lubricant. Yes. Yeah. 
She she has the best doctor that doesn't take insurance, and she usually shoves it up her vagina. And, yeah. and she's she's a follower of Alex Jones, which is perfectly fine. But she wants people to fuck follow him. Alex Jones. Yeah, she wants to fuck Alex. Jones. That's not okay. That's that's on the opposite side. And she also could have had sex with Bill Clinton, but didn't because he's married. Because that's never. Stopped. Yeah, I did. I did hear that. She wants to go on Andy Worski's show too. Uh, and she's oh, gonna stop yeah. Pizzagate. Yes. I think uh, finally finding her age. I think. Yeah. That. Wait, how did she wait? How did she say I, she I think she's 47. <laughs> Somebody in the chat said it was confirmed. The Norma Desmond reference. Uh, which... <laughs> <laughs> gave, it, gave it away. <laughs> I told you guys she was 48. That, that was me. Yeah. I caught it. Yeah, I said 52. I thought she was older than that. Yeah, I thought she was uh, late 50s. No, she that just looks that, <laughs> that was being generous. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, no. You know what? Actually, my second favorite moment was her saying this black guy, Mac Daddy, who's a white dude. <laughs> was a very good <laughs> I like I liked how she couldn't decide between sex and and talking to people on the internet for like thirty minutes. She wanted to hang up so bad and kept saying, "I'm gonna go have sex now." And the guy's just fucking waiting, but she, she she literally cannot pull herself away from the attention. I like the JP appearance. Oh, that was good. That was a good one. You oh, think she's she nice. thinks she's sucking his dick right now? Oh God! I bet they both passed I don't out. Think about that. I mean, she has to have some kind of skills, right? Like, uh, <laughs> at least the head game's got to be good, right? I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe uh, I, I bet. She, I bet she's gonna puke up all that box wine all she over. Probably, <laughs> she probably takes her. Well, listen, she probably takes the dentures out and she, and she, no telling what she can do. Uh, then, oh, I just said, oh. <laughs> you know, it's probably she's probably really bad because you said she doesn't do anal. I bet she she doesn't oh. deep throw it. I bet you she's fucking bad. No, no, she, throw... she fucking lied when uh, when Dick said, uh, you know, uh, so what do you got? You know, a capital A. She's like, yeah, yeah, wink, wink. And then I don't she's think like, she I don't think anal. I think she's just stupid and didn't know what that meant. Well, she could be retarded. That's possible. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's my bet. I'm going for two for two and saying that she was just dumb and didn't catch the reference. I think that chick does anal. <laughs> I think that's safe what are the anal. chances they're having sex right now while listening to this show? Uh, oof. Hi. Then I'm no. gonna have to put on the right. I'm gonna have to put on the right uh, music for it. Put on the soundtrack for the room, like in the sex scenes during the room. <laughs> <laughs> you are my rose. You are my rose. Oh yeah. Oh, oh no. no! Get it away. Uh, no, no, Katie, you gotta, you gotta play. Uh, you gotta set the mood for it. Play Ram Ranch. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna do your JP voice too. If they're yeah. Oh my god, yeah, narrator sex right now. Narrate oh. what he's doing to him right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Ugh. I'm still pretty Which... surprised that she actually made it here. Oh, you know, I really hope they're not listening because if, if that dude finds out she has a really bad case of herpes, he's going to get all fucked oh, up. Oh shit. <laughs> the col the colloidal silver will protect him. He doesn't have a blue yeah. dick. Colloidal <laughs> silver. It's going to make like a metal guard around his cock so the virus can't kill him. He'll be fine. <laughs> What you gotta do is you gotta take the colloidal silver and you gotta take a big old handful of it and you gotta you gotta <laughs> rub it around your general area. Is that Nerd City or Alex Jones? I'll just say yes. How about both? <laughs> yeah, <why not>? <laughs> <laughs> it's a mix. Uh, I did see a super chat. I missed so many. Whatever. Sorry. Uh, T104 play says, "Oh my fucking god! Colloidal silver crotch treatments were used in oldie toms to treat chlamydia. I'm not even joking." <laughs> <laughs> That's what he said. So. <sighs> I, I bet you this is the type of chick, if she's doing that shit, I bet you this is the type of woman that would literally drink mercury, thinking it's going to get rid of her fucking uh, <laughs> yeah. case of the, yeah, the crabs Yo, or some shit like that. You, I'm very think... curious about her kids. Like, does she actually have custody of children? <laughs> I'm curious if she teaches them this wonderful knowledge that she's accumulated <laughs> about using fucking heavy metals to cure diseases. Do you, do you think you, you could convince her to drink that uh, jelly juice shit that that poop cult was doing? Yes, yes. <laughs> she would drink that, yeah. It can cure the gay. Oh, no, the bleach enema chick? I actually know a lot about that poop cult. Just say no. If you went and bleeds <laughs> on the poop cult, I, I have the deets. <laughs> We the senators tell her it's like great for her health. Get get her on. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's in hiding right now because one of her cult members died. Oh. Uh, oops. 
Yeah, well, <laughs> from drinking shit? Is that, is that how no, they do it? She, she posed Clorox bleach as a panacea for everything, and you have to take it as an well, animal. I mean, and she to encouraged... be fair, I'm, I'm starting to like this woman. Yes. <laughs> she, but she encouraged people, like, if you have a kid with Down syndrome or autism, just load that ass up with Clorox. Oh It'll fix God. it. And surprise somebody with you know, known illness did that and fucking died <laughs> from from Clorox bleach poisoning. <laughs> And and uh, yeah, she might be going to jail. Just drink sure. Clorox; it will cure the autism. There, that, that's good advice. No, you got to put up I mean, you're not wrong. It... It'll <laughs> it cure it. Cure. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. She found out that Tide Pods will clean out her pussy, so she sticks them in there. <laughs> yeah, I looked up the. Uh... Uh, the the rocking for trafficking or whatever the fuck yeah, that I was. It too. Yeah, uh, yeah. Facebook page with 400 likes really blazing up the charts. <laughs> Did you see their website? It's like it's really it's really bad. Well, I hope that's not their real email address because the chat was just eating that up. <laughs> oh no, that's definitely that was definitely a definitely real email, real email address. address. What was he thinking? That's why I made sure to say look out for the the Dick Show one because he's going to get a lot of mail. <laughs> He's going to have like 400 emails from CDC saying a partner you have may have had a disease. You know? <laughs> He's going to be on the Alex Jones uh, shop newsletter. Uh, uh, I don't even know. I've laughed so hard my head actually hurts. I have a headache yeah. from laughing. I see a lot of super chats. Honestly... I don't want to read them. Oh, you tired? You tired there? You tired <laughs> <after Ralph. laughs> okay, if you Should guys, I read them? Yeah, if or if you can copy yeah. and send them, I'll read them. It's fine. I'll read them. Show Jim the Pokemon vid. Oh wait, I already read that one. Dash through it. Dash uh, through it. Ouija uh, SDI. What is the, why does that faggot Geek Tulu have a Kiwi Farms page? That bitch is a gold mine of lols. That was from Ouija STI. Um, Sponge, press one if Chris Raygun is a cuck faggot bitch. Uh oh. Uh, yeah. One. Here come the one. There were a lot of ones in the chat when that was posted. Uh, thus violating the NAP says she is partying with the corpses of the rat pack. Uh, <laughs> the wee snake. Monkey, please put Corinne in Monkey Jones's stops a school shooting. Uh, Rodney Ironcock says, can you ask Dick if anyone ever found the yeah? Did anyone ever uh, find Yes. Yeah, they did. Uh, Maddox had a... Um, Somebody found out that Maddox had edited a published episode where he took out like a whole argument that I made and just put me going, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they couldn't find uh, where it was. They found it. They found it. Oh, Sears says, Ralph, Jim, Dick, keep up the great work, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Steve Bannon says, do Corinne's vag, excuse me, does Corinne's vag, well, he wrote do, but I'm going to correct it for him. Does Corinne's vag look like a roast beef sandwich? <laughs> uh, probably a safe bet thus violating the NAP says she's in the studio with Creed <laughs> a new a Newton's Law says I refuse to believe someone this dumb exists Ralph <laughs> did you hire this Sal no I did not uh, Chikai says I'm in my 40s there's no way that Baron Wound Harridan is a day under 50 uh, Dick Tuno says, holy Christ, please plan an actual hangout with Corinne. I mean, it's better this way, I think. Tundra Theory <laughs> says, could you imagine the stuttering waterhead Worski and this stroke victim Corinne on the same stream? Jesus, take the word. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, yippee. Waha, yippee. Oh, damn it. Uh, Gabriel Lopes says this was a great idea. Thank you. You're welcome. Although it wasn't really my idea. Uh, yeah, that, was, uh, that was Dick's idea. Good idea, man. Hey, yeah. 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 Just tons of theory says $500 says this sperm burper's breath smells like a <laughs> dude load. <24 laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Sperm burper. Sperm burper. <laughs> I've never heard that. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my God! Tijuana Four Places. So that's why music sucks so bad now. No wonder so many rock stars have bailed on life lately. Yeah. Uh, Gerudo Tempest. Maybe says, she's why Kurt Cobain killed himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, too soon. Gerudo Tempest said, "Ask what year she graduated 
Ben Guillermo says, Karen, how can you have periods after your menopause? <laughs> uh, Clay's, Clay, Clay's remote, r- remotes, roommate says, yeah, he, I don't know, close enough. Uh, Tia 104 Play says, I can't super chat. Well, uh, I can't super <laughs> chat thought, but this kook can rape my brain talking about her dripping vagine. Yeah, nice try, lady. We all know it's the Sahara down there. God damn you, censors. Uh, then Tijuana says, hey, Grandma, if you had any self-control, your yap wouldn't be an endless stream of consciousness that calls attention to your negative sexual marketplace value. Then he says, backyard breeders like <laughs> backyard breeders. <laughs> backyard breeders like this grandma need need to be compelled uh, to have their tubes tied. The national IQ is already in a dangerous decline. General Cal says she's been taking some big fat, some big, well, excuse me. Some fig bat digger Nick. <laughs> <laughs> I see. I think I, I think that was Everybody say it excellent bat. reading. <laughs> Some, Everybody say it one time. Say it as quickly as possible. Fig bat digger Nick. Yeah. <laughs> fig bat digger Nick. Fig dat. N- that was close enough. Um, yeah, digger Nick. Uh, <laughs> Mike Hunt said, "What the fuck, Ralph? It's four thirty a.m. here. You're killing me. Don't get me wrong. It's radio gold, but damn, I wish you'd start earlier. Shekels for the insomnia. Yeah, well, this is this is our slot. Although, I, what have we been going like six hours now? I didn't plan this. Uh, Long neck McGee says, "Corinne looks like the female lead from Team." <laughs> From Team America World Police. Tia Wana Four Place says question for Clarine. How can you be obsessed with youth and O D the Botox yet do nothing about that nose? General Kyle says, How much wine to get this fig bat digger? <laughs> How much wine to get this fig bat digger, Nick? I'll take one for the team. Oh, Tijuana foreplay. Do you just crying, having sex with him as you read all these off. Very <laughs> possible. <laughs> 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 Tijuana foreplay. Heroin was a big problem in the 1990s. Tragically, not enough Gen Xers OD'd. So here we are. Uh, <laughs> Dog Munch says best Friday morning ever. Gerudo Tempest says monkeys closing line about hair lines. Ali says why Mike. Is she too dumb to suck dick? Tia 104 Play says, Oh my fucking God, colloidal silver cross treatments were used in oldie. Oh, I already read that. I'm not going to read it again. Uh, did, did more come in? Well, oh, yeah, a couple of good Jesus Christ. Uh, thank you for the super chats, by the way. Clay Early says, Sub to Rikita Law. Clay will make you drink. Dick Tuno says, Clay, go poo your bed again. And then Code Guy says, Excellent stream. Good night, folks. Don't forget to check the uh, Streamlabs, too. Yeah, I just yeah, want to say, you're right. Do you think we could trick Corinne into going to VidCon and convincing her that like some some big YouTuber was interested in her? But yes, just just pick somebody at random that we know is going to VidCon, so she like fucking harasses the <laughs> shit. Yes, out of yes, yes. Get oh no, no, a- Andy Worski. She she <laughs> she wants him already. It's true. Do you think she could possibly be a new co-host for Andy? <laughs> 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 it was it was so sad how she was, I was with a man and was actively trying to solicit this fucking Andy Worski guy she just <laughs> met over the phone. What kind of sexual tricks would she do for Andy? That's what I wonder. <laughs> She'd stay the fuck away from him. <laughs> I was about to I, I was honestly about this I was waiting for a response from, from you, Ralph, because I was about to send Andy the hangout link and not tell him why. Just say, hey Andy. <laughs> no, dude, come on, come on. no, dude, I was literally like almost fully passed out in my chair because I've been drinking tequila since eleven PM and I was just coming in and out of consciousness and then I just finally popped back in when she started talking about colloidal silver. <laughs> Perfect spot to pop back in. Perfect. It kind of brought me back from, from wherever I was drifting off to. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's where I was. Yeah, your chat, uh, Koi uh, Highs says uh, she'd suck the stutter out of him. <laughs> no, no. Pretty sure she can suck the chrome off a off a hubcap if you catch my drift. Huh? Well, then apply it to her pussy to cure the herpes. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, 
Nora says, I shook you awake. You did not. And then you elbowed me. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wait, was she right. listening the whole time to this this fantastic entertainment? Oh, man. Well, if that's the case, thank you. She, she's learned the ways of colloidal silver. <laughs> 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 Fucking colloidal silver. Right. Shit. Well, my wife's taking the credit. What about for sinking the stream earlier? What What about that? What? When you threw the toilet paper and sunk the stream. <laughs> <I didn't do laughs> <it. laughs> that was all you. <laughs> What an asshole. Packy power. Packy power, she said, yes. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so, boys, it's been fun, but I think I'm going to bed. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I think I'm actually bed. going to bed, too. We, this can never be topped anyway, so whatever. <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good stream, man. I had fun. Yeah, yeah it's been thank great. You. Thank you for joining us. Jim, thank you. Dick, wow, Dick, you hey. stayed with us this whole time. Holy shit. How could I miss that? Oh, appreciate man. it, buddy. Thank you. I appreciate it. Gator, as always. Here's the owner, the real life owner of Kiwi Farms. Oh, the monkey on the lamb. Oh, man. It's, it's been nice meeting everybody. Yeah, hey, you stay safe, Matt Jarbo. Oh, thank you. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> uh, monkey Jones, thank you, man, for joining us. No problem. Thanks to the chat for getting me in here. Yeah, we'll yes. have to get you on one, one on one one of these days. Hell yeah, yeah let's man. do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah awesome. I do. I do want to do that. And Zidane, thank you, sir, for, like, you know, Making the stream work again. Hey, so part of the team. I appreciate that. An, an integral part of the team. And why don't you be part of the team and just kill the shit so I can go <laughs> sleep? Okay. Good night, guys. We'll be back tomorrow. Uh, yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. Thank all you guys. Thanks for the super chats and watching and all that shit. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye. Hey.